First drive for the Jaguars ended in a strip sack uh, by, I believe, Williams. Uh, so, Jets were able to uh, manage to put up three points after that, and that's where we kind of stand. All right, it'll be second down and a five. Having a good season, came over as a free agent from New York. Second down and five. Keep it on the ground. Run up the middle, and it gets third and one. ETN to make it third down, third and one. Really tough defense to get sideways on. You got to get north and south. A couple double teams up front here. Walker Little. What's up, guys? What's up, Jags? What's up, Jason? What's up, Seth? What's up, Daniel? What's up, uh, Shlomo, if you're still here? How you guys all doing? How's everybody doing hopefully quite well? We go with a third down little dump off, and they get the first down. Number 17 with the play. That's, I believe, Christian Kirk. No, Evan Ingram with the reception. That's good. What's up, stud? Just chilling? Hell yeah, good to hear. Good to hear. What's up, Quan? Welcome back. First and 10 to the Jets, 44 on that play. Nice little pick up there on third down for to Evan Ingram. You're rooting for the cat. Why is everyone rooting for the Jags tonight? I noticed um, a lot of people want the Jaguars winning. I do as well, but I have picked the uh, Jets to win, so I'm kind of in a weird, conflict, uh, afflicted place. Second and six, by the way. What's up, uh, what's up Porter? No, you were being annoying, and you started spamming, like usual. Jags are hot. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Oh, Jags take a shot. Oop, that'll be P.I. Oh, wait, never mind. It's Sauce Gardner, so never mind. Oh, never mind. That's D.J. Reed. Ah, well, that was a good play. Third and six. No, not you, Peter. I was talking about Quan. No, I've seen, I've seen what you said, Quan. I even read what you said. Oh. Don't take it so personally. Just don't spam. Damn. You, oh, you love Duval. Fair enough, Kenny. Pro Porter. Oh, it's Porter? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say Parker? I apologize. I have um, my chat things like far from my eyes, and I have shitty vision. Um, so I apologize. Pro Bowl selections? Um, we had a whole stream about it yesterday, and I felt um, Peter. I said Peter. Damn. That's, it. That's even worse. That was a big run there. Sheesh, ETN goes for a whole bunch of yards on the Jets right there. That was a surprising run on a Jets defense. They just couldn't tackle him. First and 10 at the 21. We're going to go with a handoff here to number 12. Or number 13, sorry. Christian Kirk uh, gets a few. Second and six at the 17. We're in the red zone. What's your record on the year for a pick 124, 94, and 2. Uh, yeah, Matthew Judon made it. Yep, uh, Judon, and uh, I think that's it. <laughs> See what they do here on second and six with uh, eight and a half to play in the uh, opening quarter. Football's almost over until the real test in the playoffs start, but they could have brought up a better game tonight. I don't know. This one's all right. I mean, there is technical playoff implications. If the, tit if the Jaguars win and the Titans lose, I think the Jaguars are in first place, so... Yep, Eagles QB is out, so I have the uh, Cowboys winning. Third and three now, and a quarterback keeper by Lawrence. How you doing, Nathan? Welcome, welcome. What's up, Jacob? Welcome. Make sure if you haven't done so, consider leaving a like. It'll help the stream out, help get a few more people up in here early on. Uh, you know, interactions are big and always helpful. Plus, uh, like help you know, like goes twenty. So, see how close we get. No, Kenny's just, he's just messing around with you, Kenny. He says everyone's teams suck. 
I have 136 wins and 86 losses. I don't count the ties. Yeah, ties just go because they're, I mean, it's not really a loss or a game right. I think even betting, if a game ties, it's a wash unless you like go for a sp Like, I don't know. I know with betting, it's a little weird because it's like technical, like, you know, spreads are involved. But I think if you bet it straight up and it's a tie, I don't know how that goes. Cowboys star isn't a logo. It's a rating. Sheesh. All right, uh, looks like the Jaguars are going to have to trot out their kicker. I think he's pretty solid, though, if I'm not mistaken. It's fourth and three. Winter break for you. Same here. I'm doing all right. Hope Steelers bring the energy against the Raiders. Yeah, I think you guys, um, that's going to be tough. And it's up. It's good. 3-3. Three, three. You have the Jags to win this one. A lot of people do, Porter. In Jacksonville. Eh, it's all right that it's in uh, New Jersey. Anyway, it's um, a commercial break, so I have to mute the audio. Commercial break here in New York, New Jersey, I guess. Um, 7.15 to play in the first. It'll be the Jets ball and the kickoff coming up. 3-3 game. That wasn't a bad drive. They just weren't able to punch it into the end zone. Not just salty about the Rams. Yeah, fair enough, Daniel. It's understandable. My team will be eliminated soon enough. Falcons are losing to the Ravens. Uh, uh, yeah, probably. Is Lamar back yet for that game, or do you not know yet? Anyway, it is a commercial break. We'll unmute it as soon as possible. You're a Chiefs fan? Uh, I was going to say, I think I could tell by your logo, or by your profile picture. Uh, when I'm at uh, every hour, the temperature is dropping. Yeah, it's going to be cold. Well... For the most of the Midwest, you guys are going to be getting blasted by this like miserable cold. Uh, but if you live in the state of Michigan, we are kind of insulated by what is called two massive lakes by uh, on all directions, really. Um, so we're kind of just insulated. Just because we have these two massive. But I think in lieu of like minus five degrees and minus 10 degrees, um, we are getting fucked with snow. To the tune of like 35 inches in parts of the state. Where Kenny lives specifically. He's going to get like. Oh, I don't know like 40 inches of snow. <laughs> he's getting smacked. Uh, this might be a hot take. But I still think that I can still see the Buccaneers winning the Super Bowl. Yeah fair enough. Yeah no I. Jags I really don't disagree. I still have them as my pick to win the Super Bowl. If they make as long as they win the division. Um, it's just kind of like getting through to that process is going to be a bitch hey we're up at seven likes so if you haven't left a like consider doing so that i would assume that means only three people have left a like since the stream started but you know what's up khy hopefully for your prize picks so that'd be nice yep lake effect just kills out the uh high high uh temperatures but by the way yeah the likes will be important if you guys uh don't mind i know it's hard and people don't like leaving likes on this channel um but if you could, that'd be nice. I know it's a big ask, but people like Jags and pretty much everybody here, uh, you know. Exactly, Stud. I know you're good for it. You're one of the two other people that like to stream, usually. Everyone else, I have to pull teeth. Because you hate us, Kenny. That's why. Looks like it's starting to snow really big there up in uh, New Jersey. You can see the snow gushing around. Wind's starting to pick up. Looks like the weather is getting worse. We'll see how that uh, impacts the game. All right. Let's get this game uh, back on. Bum, bum, bum. All right, let's see. First and 10 at the 25. What are they going to run here? Probably run the ball. They send number eight into motion, and they go with a little fake handoff. Oop. And Wilson just kind of chucks it into the ground. It'll be second and 10. You ready for summer? I think everybody's ready for summer. Nobody likes the cold. 7-11 to play in the opening quarter. 3-3 three, three game. Jets got the ball. Pretty, uh, pretty self Planetary situations. 
with it. All he could do is eat it, just throw it away, throw it into the ground. See the defense get out there. They're they're there, and so ready for April. Just yeah, anything that isn't this month, everyone's ready for. This crowd is with his performance. They're gonna go with the handoff on this one, and they get just a few, probably three. Set Mark Brunell into motion. I didn't see that one coming. Mark Brunell is he number eight for them? Uh, I'm going to Mexico with my family. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, like a senior trip or something like that. You should charge your phone tonight. Yeah, it's probably a good idea if you're in a place where power might go out. Get all your electronics pre-charged and. Sammy's wearing 82 on the Ravens. So that's cool. Wilson throws on third down. Picks up the first to a wide open Conklin who's got a bit extra on the play. And that'll be first and 10 all the way to the Jaguars 45. There goes the Jets with the big play. Mark Brunel. I didn't even know if he was still in the NFL. Now, number eight is a wide receiver now. Um, Mark Brunel is long gone. Uh, I don't know about streaming that Steelers game. Don't have a ton of care for it, if that makes sense. It's like, eh, I'll pass. <laughs> like, I don't really see the big point in covering that one. First and ten now. Going to go with the handoff here. Man, they get a few. Second and seven. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were being serious when you said they sent Brunel into motion. I was like, uh, I don't know about all that. I don't think so. <laughs> all right. Uh, second and seven. Five minutes and ten seconds to play. Go with the handoff here. Play with some dead. They have the play to Streveler, which is like their backup, like, uh, package quarterback. Michigan. Uh, Michigan, the great state. Illegal formation. Replay second down. So it'll be second and 12 now after an illegal formation there. You're a Jets fan, Freezer BBQ. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder what's wrong with that play. Look good. Anyway, second down and twelve after the illegal formation. Uh, no, I don't. I don't really like college football. Um, I can explain why in a second. <laughs> Zach Wilson pretty much just wildly overthrew a wide open receiver, and everybody was pissed on missing that ball. Uh, the defense was missed. They uh, pissed. They missed a pretty easy interception, and the offense is probably missed that they pissed. They missed a wide open throw. Third and twelve. Ball at the forty-seven of the Jaguars. Uh, let's see what the Jets have here on third. Well, John, uh, Kenny, I don't think so. Yeah, Christmas is on Sunday. No, I don't really watch college football though, uh, Jacob. I didn't really agree when I was growing up with the players not being allowed to get paid. Um, hold on, third and twelve. So out of principle, I just didn't watch it. Wilson just has to throw this one away, and it's out of bounds. I wonder what their flag is for. Could be roughing. Could be something. I don't know what it could be. Oh, uh, OPI. It was offensive pass interference. That'll be declined penalty. It'll be fourth down and 12, and the Jets will have to punt it away. Unless, I don't, they really probably can't kick a 60-plus yard field goal, so. All right, Jaguars back deep to receive the punt. This could very well wind up in the end zone or be pinned inside the five. There's, uh, you know, not a lot of variation probably coming in that one. Here we go. Balls away. Oh, they ran into the kicker, though. Yeah, I think that's going to be a flag on the Jaguars. They ran right into the punter's leg, and I know what that is. 
That should be a flag. What's up, uh, Aaron? Let's just switch to uh, YouTube TV now. I can get everything, and our family saves a lot of money. Yeah, I heard about YouTube TV. Plus, like, you guys get Sunday ticket next year. Yep, they ran into his kicking leg. That'll be a penalty. It better be a goddamn penalty. If it isn't, I'm going to rage. Yay! Someone else got called for it now. What? Oh, it's only a five-yard penalty. So the uh, Jets declined it. Because I believe they pinned them at like the two-yard line. So, um, well, at the four, yeah. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I mean, it didn't get him a first down, so they declined it. But I think that would have maybe gave them a field goal try. No, not really. Not really. So, anyway, it's a commercial break. I'm muting the audio. I'm muting the audio. No one wants to watch a bunch of goddamn commercials. Um, I think if you run into the leg and then if you, like, knock the kicker over. It's like running into the leg is not the biggest penalty. It's a five-yard thing. Um, and I think roughing is, like, just fucking the kicker up. <laughs> Because you can accidentally run into the kicker's leg. Uh, I'm glad for semester's over. Yeah, there you go, Aaron. But yeah, YouTube TV. By the way, if you are wondering, if you already have YouTube TV, um, you're in for a treat because now the uh, Sunday ticket was picked up by Google and will be broadcast on YouTube TV. And I think Sunday Ticket works as, like, you can watch every single game you want to, right? It's nice to see the NFL g adapting to the modern era and putting it on YouTube. You don't have YouTube TV? Yeah, me either, but I, I might buy it for the uh, NFL season. Especially if the price is only, I mean, it's expensive, but, like, you get a lot out of it. I don't know. If, I'm, if I have a decent job at that point, probably. In lieu of a TV service, I'll just probably get YouTube TV. I like YouTube. It's a great service. 3-3 three, three is the score, though, with one eleven or 4-11 to play in the first quarter. 4-11 to play in the first quarter. Uh, Jaguars have the ball at their own four-yard line. This should be quite the interesting drive here uh, in probably just a second. It looks like they're coming back to the game in literally like a microsecond. UFC is raising the price of pay-per-view. Oh, damn. Looks like I won't be buying any UFC pay-per-views from going forward. Pat's got a tough matchup this week. Yeah, Quan, we're probably going to lose. Um, but I'm I'm going to stand strong behind my team and say we're going to win this game, even though I'm the only person to still believe in the Patriots at this point. Won't catch me simping for another football team. I'm built different. You have the Jags winning this one? A lot of people do. A lot of people do. You love Sunday ticket, Kenny? Do you guys have it? Uh, first and 10 at the four-yard line. Here we go. Let's see what the Jaguars run. They're looking like they're set up to run. Jets bust through, but the Jaguars get a nice first down, and it'll be, or well, they get a good set of runs on first. It'll be second down and two eight-yard pickup. Maybe second and three. The CIA, yeah, I agree. They should give me the UFC. I know how to run that bitch. You know who I'd help get to help run the UFC with me? I'd call up Vince McMahon, and we'd run the UFC like a perfect uh, unit. Oh, you got it for free? Sheesh. Kenny out here balling. Anyway, they're going to go with another handoff here on second down and three, and they get the first down. Number 22 picks it up. First down, Jaguars. Jermichael Hasty. Why didn't I pick the Broncos this weekend? I did. I picked them to beat the Rams. I also picked you guys to beat the Cardinals, and I, I'm probably going to be right on both of those. A little nervous about Russell Wilson returning, though. He sucks for you guys. Don't know why that is. Might need to buy you two, but it's like 65 a month. I'll make pay-per-views free. I won't even do pay-per-views. I think that's stupid. I just make it more advertiser-filled. And make everybody um, be Christian conservatives. Or pretend to be at least. You talk about instincts and feel. This is an interior defensive line. That's not crazy. Colt McCoy going off. Who Colt McCoy go off against? That's just, that, that the Bucks? Big, 
He didn't do very uh who a uh, Trace McS uh, Colt uh, Colt McCoy got hurt. Remember what I said? The only problem with Colt McCoy is that he gets hurt like every single time he takes the field. Yeah, he's hurt again. He already got hurt. They have to go with Trace McSorley because Colt McCoy got hurt. No one even know that. No one even knew Colt McCoy got hurt. He's hurt. <laughs> Stud, the reason he's not a starter in this league is because he's hurt. Yeah, he got hurt again. Dude, the the wind blew at twenty one point two miles an hour. Do you really did you expect Colt McCoy to survive a gust of wind over twenty miles an hour? You people and your expectations, I swear to God. No, no. <laughs> McCoy's actually a good quarterback. He's like super accurate, makes really nice throws. <laughs> you, he'd probably be a starter if he wasn't actually made of glass. He's like Jimmy G. If Jimmy G was more like if 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 Trace Mc, you should this should never be a thought in your head. If only Colt McCoy had the durability of Jimmy G, he'd be a star in this league. That's never a statement you should make about someone's injury history. You know. You should never be like, man, if only he could be like Jimmy G in terms of his health. Second down and seven. Sam Bradford's another guy who got really fucked because of injury, uh, if you remember him. Chad Pennington, too, for you Jets fans. I know that must hurt, but boy, oh boy, he could have been a lot better. Trace McSorley, yeah, throw it on a dime. What do we got, second and seven? What is the quarter over? What the hell happened? Oh, there. Okay. Second down and seven. Two fifteen to play and counting. It's down to two ten. Trevor Lawrence having a nice little drive here. Can he get a first? And he picks up another first. Look at this drive from. Are the Jets? Are the Jags about to go ninety six yards on this Jets defense? No way. No. -uh. First and ten to the forty five of the Jaguars. What's up, Sauce? Oh shit! Working on Sauce Gardner right there. Marvin Jones putting the work on the kid. Sauce Gardner got confused. What happened? Jets fans, I thought he's the GOAT. Greatest of all time. He got thrown off his route right there. Got confused and let my old Marvin Jones get wide. And the old, old vet got wily and I fucked up. Never mind. He got open. Second down and 10, no gain. I was trying to say something fun and funny, but I completely shit the bet on it. So it's just much easier just to abort that statement. Anyway, second down and 10 with a minute and a half to go in the quarter. Probably a little bit less. We're probably at about a minute 10. If they can get a first down in the next couple plays, it'll probably be the end of the quarter. Under a minute to go. 57 seconds, 56, 55, 54. Yep, Chase Young will be making his season debut this weekend for the Commanders against the 49ers. Oh, first down. What a catch. 85 with a really nice play. What a throw by uh, Trevor Lawrence, by the way. First and 10 to the Jaguars, 38. They'll probably have to run. They have to run one more play here in the quarter because the play clock is one second ahead of the or behind the uh, game clock. I think it's like, for example, if it was 24 seconds on the play clock uh, or on the game clock, the play clock's at 23. Man, where's Sauce at? What's going on, Gardner? He's looking exclusively to Sauce Gardner. This is pretty hilarious by uh, old Trevor Lawrence. No, Chase Young is Asian. Trevor Lawrence with the 99 speed picks up a first down. It'll be first and 10 out to the uh, Jets 22-23 yard line. Jags Nation's probably shitting himself going, wait, who's sauce? You mean spaghetti sauce? I don't know what you're talking about. What's the sauce you speak of? Anyway, first and 10 to the 25. Oh, wow, they spotted that ball terribly. First and 10 at the 25 for the Jaguars. First and 10 at the 25. 3-3 uh, three, three is the score at the end of one. Jaguars driving here. They're on, they started at the four. They're now on the Jets 25. Let's see how this plays out. The Jets get very, very good inside of the 20. So, yep, Big Dick Nick Foles is back starting for the Colts. They should probably win out. Dude, if Nick, what, watch Nick Foles come off the bench and throw like five touchdowns. I'd be like, they just made a bad mistake all year. How'd they miss that? Hilarious. I also found out Nick Foles isn't as old as I thought he was. I thought Nick Foles was like 35 years old and this was the end of his career. 
Is he even 30? Like, I feel like I'm actually older than Nick Foles is, which is hilarious. No, like, it's like, it's like, it's, you don't, he's a lot, hold on. I think he's as old as Jared Goff. Oh, he's 33. Yeah, okay. So he's a little, you know what I mean? He's only 33. Like, I thought he was like way, I thought he was like Rogers almost age. Uh, like, you know, like middle, middle, late 30s, not, you know. You hated sauce at Cincinnati. Why'd you hate Gardner in college? That dude was unstoppable. No one ever did anything against him. I like his attitude. Don't get me wrong, but I just hate that he's a jet. So I find any chance uh, possible to uh, shit on the kid. Since 2013, that's what it was. I thought he's been in the league longer than that. And, um, and I remember he came in in a bad quarterback class. Correct or no? Was that like the wrong year? Because there was one year there was a quarterback class that was led by, like, E.J. Emanuel. And that was, like, the worst shit I ever seen. <clears throat> like, it, it was literally, like, E.J. Emanuel was the first quarterback taken, and he was, it was bad. Oh, you're a UCF, and, oh, well, yeah, okay, yeah, Cincinnati, okay, fair enough. Oh, he went in luck in RG3. So, yeah, he went in a really good class. That's, yeah. That was supposed to be such a legendary class of quarterbacks and everybody got hurt and had to retire early. That's so sad. <laughs> well, I don't know. Washington ruined RG3. I don't know why he didn't sue him. It feels like it's provable that they just fucked up with him. Oh, Sideline interview game is back on. It'll be the Jaguars ball. First and 10 at their own 25. Second quarter coming on up. By the way, if you haven't left a like, consider doing so. It'll help the stream out. Might get a few more people taken or, uh, in here and all that fun stuff. Yada, yada, yada. I doubt we're even at 10 likes, to be honest. Week 16. Oh, we're at 12. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. We're doing good. We're just eight likes away from the like goal, so... If everyone who hasn't left the light can leave one, we'll, we'll probably hit it pretty quick. But if not, you know, it is what it is. Second down and nine at the 24. They go with the first down run, no gain. Well, I guess a yard, but. Bulls, Tannehill, Cousins, Wilson are the only QEs left from that class. Yeesh. Cousins seems to. Oh, oh yeah, Russell Wilson was in that class. Really? I thought I always thought he was 2013 for some reason. I'm not really sure, like sure why I think that or thought that. The ball the 24 yard line. And Lawrence is gonna just keep it and run with it, and he gets pretty close to a first down. But I think he's gonna. Oh, they're gonna give it to him. First and ten at the 15. That's a generous spot on that one. Well, to be fair, that makes up for the shit spot he got on his last scamper. <laughs> they they marked him like three yards back from where he went down. I'm like, what, what did like his hand touch at the 25? And he just went, that's where he's actually at. Should have, damn, I should have took the over 13 and a half Lawrence rushing yards. Yeah, he's up at 25 right now. He's killing the game. Trevor uh, Jackson, Lamar Lawrence. Had the ball for six minutes from the 15. Well, they go with the run on first down, pick up four or five. You know who the Jets could use? Quan Russell Wilson. You guys should see if you could trade him to, to the Jets. You know what would suck, though, is he'd probably be really good for the Jets, and he'd just be a dominating quarterback, and you guys would be like, oh, of course. That's exactly what would happen. Jack still here. He hit the over one and a half field goals. That's a safe bet in this game. You're going to keep Russell. You think he'll turn it around? Second down and six. They put a man into motion. They fake it and they pitch it out to ETN. And ETN makes a move and down at the two. Jets make it. Or well, in, I guess the three. In between the one and the or the two and the three. So it's at the two and the two and a half. Nice. 
wherever you want to call that weird space between the two and three yard line. But first and goal. Looks like the Jaguars are about to actually put a touchdown in. Number 30 of the Jets is banged up, but he's on his own sideline, so they'll have to do a play stoppage. Fair enough, Quan. Yeah, I think you guys will be fine next year. Plus, I think you guys need to hire a new head coach, but... I don't think Hackett's the guy. I don't know, though. Damn. <laughs> the Jaguars have run 25 plays to the Jets' 9, and they've had the ball for 12 minutes to the Jets' 4 minutes. Sheesh. 19 likes already? Sheesh. The likes piled up pretty quick. I appreciate that, everybody. What's up, Jared? Hopefully, they're all real likes, and they're not somebody just spamming in fake likes. But even if you are, go ahead and spam in the fake likes. It might get some people in here. It'll be all deleted anyway. Oh no, I hope no one trolls me with a bunch of fake likes. I'd, that'd make me so mad, dude. Anyway, it's a 3-3 score. Timeout by the Jags here with uh, first and goal at the two. This could be a pivotal moment. They need the touchdown here, I would say. When you're facing the Jets, you probably want to get any touchdown like possible. You know what I mean? Because it... As the game goes on, the Jets' defense seems to get better and better and better and more, like, aware of what your offense is capable of doing. Because even the Lions could move the ball really well against them early. Um, but later in the game, it became increasingly more difficult uh, with this Jets' uh, defense, especially in this part of the field. Yeah, Aaron, I've heard. It's going to be brutal around the state. You guys might get more up there in your part of the state, um, up, up, uh, up in the 989 area. Up in the Mount Pleasant, Midland, Clare, Bay City area. It's going to get fucked. Hell yeah, thank you guys, by the way. We hit 20 likes. Uh, as long as they're all legitimate, I appreciate that very much. Still feel free to leave likes. It helps the stream out, gets more people. But that is the like uh, goal of just 20 likes. We try to hit that. I won't be very uh, loud about it now. I won't even say anything about it just to thank you occasionally for all the likes. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Jags go with the run on second down. What a fucking stop again. Dude, the, Jet, the Jets are so good at goal line defense. My goodness. that Against probably any other team in football, that ETN probably gets in with that second effort. But this Jets defender just, like, came out of nowhere and, like, did this crazy move and pushed him backwards by, like, like the force of, like, a thousand suns. I don't even know how he did that. Uh, the Patriots have to play the Bengals. Easy W for us. Um, Trey Hendrickson has a broken wrist or hand. I don't know what it is. He's still going to play. Um, that's how afraid they are of us. Or they can clinch a playoff spot with the win this weekend. So they're treating it as a must win. Who knows? Anyway, third and goal. There's an injury to sure. Oh, no. Well, that could suck for the Jaguars. Scherf was injured. Uh, there's an injury timeout, so I had to mute the audio. Injury timeout here with 11.46 to play in the second. Uh, the Jaguars' of Scherf is down, which is um, not good. They literally need him. <laughs> he's like their best. Like, it's like he's their best lineman by a fuckload. I don't even know how to accurately describe. Uh, I wish Jags Nation was here to describe what how bad this could potentially be for their... Um, very weird playoff chances that have developed. If he goes down, that's the end of their season, in my opinion. I don't know. I entirely forgot that I, like, Brandon Scherf went down to fucking uh, Jacksonville after he left uh, Washington, I want to say. The whole time I thought these guys had a bad line. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. They did get some, like, weirdly good talent down there. Ooh. Anyway, it's a commercial break, by the way. We're just waiting to see. Um, hopefully, it's not too bad an injury to uh, Scherf. Just sucks that they had to go to timeout because, like, in two plays, they're going to go back to a commercial break. Because what will happen here on third and goal at the one, the Jet Jaguars will either score or not. Then they're going to, so it'll either be, like, a touchdown or not here. Or the next play is always going to be, like, the kick. So... And then after that, the, the point after or the field goal attempt, they're going to go to commercial break. So we have two plays unless the Jets commit a penalty. 
and then they're going to go right back to break. Maybe they won't, though. Maybe they won't. Sometimes they're pretty good about not doing that, where it's like, that's really obnoxious. I don't know. How's everyone's evening going? Hopefully good. Staying warm, hopefully. Getting ready for what could be a nasty mid-storm. Uh, At least in my um, part of the country, or uh, yeah, in Michigan, we're weirdly lucky. Um, we're not going to get a... Uh, Helted with the cold weather like a lot of places because of Lake Michigan and Lake Superior kind of eating all that cold weather. But what that does get us is Lake Michigan is going to be producing a whole fuckload of snow and it's going to be like 30 foot waves on the lake. It's going to be brutal. Touchdown. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to say he well, once the ball reaches over the line, it's a touchdown. So the Jaguars just scored a touchdown. Trevor Lawrence sneaks it in. Pops it over the line. The ball popped out at the end, but that doesn't really matter when you run it in. Ball crosses. It's over. Plays dead. And that's a touchdown. Jaguars. They'll make it 9-3. to 10-3 pending the extra point. Never really want to 100% guarantee that an extra point is good. Uh, mainly just because it's bad practice. Yeah, he's in. Touchdown. As soon as the ball breaks the plane. They shouldn't have declined that penalty. Yeah, I agree, Jags. They probably should have accepted it and um, kicked the field goal. Because you guys just went 94 yards on arguably the best defense in the NFL. I might pick, well, 0-1 to start the week out, Joe, folks. My Thursday night uh, curse-picking ability is, is is next level. Also, you're welcome, Jax. I picked against you guys on purpose. Aha. Confirmed. Confirmed. Oh, they're only going to do a 30-second commercial. I'm still going to mute it, but it's only a 30-second commercial break right here uh, where they talk about pizza. Do you think that Little Caesars is pissed off they filmed all these Rams commercials and the Rams are complete garbage? I know you did, Jags. I'm have, I, I, I know what you were doing. Now. You're like, if I, if I pick against us, we probably win. I don't even care. I picked the Patriots because I hope we win. But, you know, more than likely that's not going to happen. But it's it's about time somebody exposed Joe Burrow for the um, fraud that he is, and it's going to be the Patriots, unfortunately. Jamar Jamar Chase going to be exposed. Everyone's getting exposed on that Bengals team. Basically, they're going to be a guy at a mall wearing a trench coat. We're going to be an unsuspecting group of people. He's they're going to run up on us and take their fucking coat and go like yeah. And they're going to expose themselves right to us aggressively, um, predatorily, and we're going to we're going to make them look bad. I don't know how to how that works, how we're the victims in this, but we're also going to expose them. Our presence will make them do that. I don't, I don't know. That was a good kick return by Berrios. First and 10 to the 35 for the uh, Jets. Or where the fuck where did he go out of bounds at? Oh, he got to the 33. 33, sorry. First and 10 to the Jets, 33. Oh, Barrios hurt his... Uh, Barrios got hurt, it looks like. Oh, hopefully he's all right. I like Barrios. I was pissed off when we let him go. I thought he was going to be good, and I was right. Wilson rolls out. Nice throw for once. Gets it out to Wilson, and that'll be a first down. First and 10 to the 46. To uh, my pick for rookie of the year, Garrett Wilson. Who was reported as saying he hopes he gets traded to the Patriots in the offseason to play with a real quarterback like Mac Jones. Uh, he said he thought about Trevor Lawrence, but hair's too long and not cooler than Mac. Sorry, Jags. He said uh, Trevor Lawrence can't gritty, so it's a big deal for him. Deal breaker. That's a that's offsides. That's a free play. I think he'll hit the over. Garrett Wilson's pretty much the entirety of the Jets' uh, passing attack. No, I don't think Garrett Wilson will get traded. If anyone gets traded, it'll be like Elijah Moore or Denzel Mims. 
Oh, wow. Five yard penalty. First down. They let an illegal procedure play just continue? I thought they killed those at the at the start of the play. Anyway, illegal formation, so it'll be first and 15. Jets have to back it up five. It'll be first and 15 at the 41. No, I don't. Uh, again, uh, if the Jets trade any receivers, it'll be either Mims or uh, more due to uh, disgruntlement. But, yeah, I don't see Garrett Wilson leaving. I do see DeAndre Hopkins getting traded from the uh, Cardinals, though. That'll be one of the big offseason moves. Little screen pass out to 2-7 there. He gets the first down, though. Isn't C.J. Mosley a free agent? Uh, what interview are you? Who are you, uh, which inter? Uh, who who's the he? I'm sorry, stud. Watch him look down field. He's looking right here. I thought C.J. Mosley was a free agent this year in 2023. Anyway, first and ten out to the 44 for the Jags. Uh, hanging out with family. What are you doing for Christmas, Quan? Covering some football games later in the night. Here goes the pitch play. No, that play went backwards. Oh, what the fuck? He broke it. Oh, no, they got him. That was a huge loss. They got us all, us all the way down. Oh, he should have just went down when he had forward progress. It'll be second and 17 on a minus seven yard run. That's pretty hard to do. Yeesh. This guy's name is Zonovan. His parents weren't being serious when they named him. They're like, uh, Donovan, but let's put a Z at the top. Why? I don't know. Be funny. <laughs> and there is a plays whistle dead. That'll probably be another uh, false start. Or an illegal formation again. Hit false start, minus five, so it'll be second down and 22. Is George Fant related to Noah Fant? Chill family, open some presents, probably just watch my team play. There you go, Quan. Sounds like a good day. No, uh, stud. Oh, oh, you're fucking around. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, are you being serious? Because I was fucking around. <laughs> If you opt out in 2022, I don't know how that works. I would have to look into it. But I thought he was a free agent in 2023, Mosley. I'm actively rooting for the Jags because I hate the Jets. And it'll, Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'm only rooting for the Jets to win because I picked them. I'd rather the Jaguars win, though, because it'd be funnier. And plus, like, I want to put pressure on them uh, bum-ass Titans. Corey Davis probably regrets going to tennis or the Jets so much. He probably had so many better offers to go to so many better teams. And this dude really said, I guess I'll just go to, I'll, I'll go to fucking Jets. Like, man, you're, you were way too good to be going there. Why did you do that? I am the only person, the only yeah, I think you're the only person, Ape. Yeah, but I don't think it's crazy to pick them. Tennessee's going to get... That, that'll be the only other game Houston tries to, like, actually win this year. And they get a couple yards there at the end of the play. It'll be, like, 4th and um, 10, 4th and 11. And the Jets will have to punt this away. Lamar Jackson situation, they should pay him. He's clearly their whole offense, so I don't know why they're... um. Pussy footing around it at this point. Time to pay him. All right, yeah, it's fourth and ten, with uh, eight minutes to play in the game in the first half. Eight minutes to play here in the second quarter. Score is ten three with the Jags. With Jags have the lead ten three. They're getting the ball back. Uh, fourth and ten at the forty four. I'd watch for the punt if I'm the Jaguars. Yeah, we need the Chiefs to win this weekend, which sucks. I hope they give me one win. I've been nice to them all year. And, oh, they almost muffed it, but they were able to cover it up pretty quick. Good job by the Jaguars to hold on to it. That was close by Agnew, but he held on. Good punt returner. Uh, first and 10 at the 12. First and 10 at the 12. Going to go to a commercial break here, so I have to mute the audio. But it'll be the Jaguars ball when it comes back on. 7.39 to play in the second, and it's a 10-3 Jaguars lead.
Yeah, I don't know why the Ravens aren't paying him. Ravens can miss the playoffs uh, if they lose out. It'd be funny if, like, the Patriots and the fucking Chargers both. It'd be funny if the Patriots, like, backdoor snuck into the playoffs by beating, like, the Bengals and Dolphins. <laughs> They'd just be like, yay! But the, the, the most chaotic situation is the Patriots beating the Bengals this weekend. You guys would have to agree to that, at least. Um, as much as you may not like New England and want them to probably miss the playoffs, um... The most chaotic situation is the Bengals somehow losing to the Patriots this weekend. I can name a few other very chaotic situations. Um, Buffalo losing out, Miami winning out, <laughs> Miami winning the division. Very funny, but unlikely. Mainly just because the Bills have to just beat the Bears this weekend and the division's theirs. Again, how funny would that shit be? I hate commercial breaks. Yeah, Jags could win the division. If the Titans somehow lose this game tomorrow to the Texans, and the Jags keep... If the Jags win out and the Titans win out, or if the Titans lose one more game, don't the Jags take first place? It's like one of them situations, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Like, if they have the same record, the Jags hold the tiebreaker? I think the Titans have like a weird division problem. <laughs> it's just like, well, that's a, that's super unfortunate. <laughs> What's up, Charles? Got ready for the winter storm and wins tomorrow. Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready for him, Charles? Got everything charged up. Got batteries. And... Bengals starting the Titans fall. It's been a glorious fall, Gary. Plus, the Titans are dealing with uh, what is probably a. Sl I, I don't think um, they're able to overcome their injuries this year. <laughs> I think they have one too many this time around. Time to hire a new medical staff in Tennessee. Just like the Chargers need to. Those two teams need to fire their entire medical staff and hire a new one. Scherf is back out there, by the way. What's up, Dennis? They could, but they would need an absolute miracle. Like a, like a, they would need so much help. They both would somehow need to win out, and I think they play each other, so I don't even know how possible that is. Um, but if either one, they'd have to win out and hope like three teams lost. Just keep losing. <laughs> very, very, very unlikely. It's going good, man. How's your day, Dennis? Ooh, almost fumbled it. Looks like it's getting slick out there. The uh, ETN almost fumbled the handoff there. Second down and 10 coming up with uh, seven minutes now to play. Seven to play. Let's see what they run here at the 11, and they're going to go with the quarterback keeper. He rolls out to his right. He runs with it, goes forward, gets the first down, and about a little extra, probably, I don't know, 13, 14 yards. Oh, they're going to give him 15. First and 10 at the 26, then. Been good, excited for Christmas. Yeah, always. Glad to hear you're excited. It's one of my uh, holidays I like to enjoy because it's just kind of a fun day. Jets defense doesn't feel like it has that same tenacity that it usually has. I wonder if they're exhausted right now. Play that tough game against Detroit. Now you got to play the Jaguars on a short week. I didn't even consider that they might not be ready to go. Well, a good hit. Jesus. Second down and six. Four yard pickup. It's going to be cold as hell in Cincinnati. Yeah, see, even in just beneath us in Cincinnati, because I live in Michigan, right? So um, the the cold, it's like going to get eaten by Lake Michigan and Superior and everything to the sides. What's up, Amir? So we kind of are getting like weirdly protected from the same cold that everybody else in the Midwest is about to um, have to experience. We're going to be like 20 degrees in our state. But I think the flip side is we're also getting hit with blizzards um, because of the lake effect snow that's being created from all this weather being blasted over Lake Michigan. So we're getting fucked in our own way. We're getting ready for not only kind of a very, very windy, shitty time, but also a very snowy time. Yeah, I think so, Amir. It's starting to look like that. Good run there by Ingram. Holy shit. Was that an end around? 
who win semifinals to, uh to, hold on a second um I just got to see what happened. Oh, it was a little it was a little screen pass out to uh, Ingram that just went for a bunch of yards. You know, I'm glad I started Evan Ingram on my uh, fantasy football team. Yeah, he got immediately doo-dooed when he got up. Nice to see that the Meadowlands is using nicer grass for once. Um, Patrick Mahomes, Adams, Christian Watson, Eckler, Connor Kittle. Brady Hill, Metcalf. I would go with team team two, but that's just because Brady with all them weapons, I wouldn't even know what to think about. Yeah, I included Lake Superior. Can I said Lake Michigan and Lake Superior? I think. But agree, Amir. Um, it sucks that I picked the Jack the Jets like an idiot in this one. Magic beat the Celtics today. That is pretty crazy. Second down and eight play. The Jets, uh, Jaguars go with a little uh, play action, and it goes barely back to uh, goes loses to. Third and ten coming up. It'll be at the thirty-four. Jets trying to hold here on their side of the field. It's first or third and ten at the Jets thirty-four. Jaguars have it. They lead ten-three. OSU versus Georgia, New Year's Eve. Oh yeah, Dennis. That'll be pretty good. I'm not really a college football guy though. But I'd take Team 2 uh, there, Dennis, because of the Brady factor. Boston? In what sport, Kenny? Basketball? Or just in weather? Yeah. Oof. What a hit there by number 3 of the Jets. Just stopped the run there by Christian Kirk dead in its uh, tracks. That'll bring up 4th and 3 at the Jets 27. Wonder what the uh, Jaguars are going to do. Looks like they might be going for it here. Basketball, why is that? Yeah, I'm already out. Those are my friend's teams. Oh, okay. Oh, it's uh, fantasy football. Oh, it's fantasy football. I'd go with Team 1. Yeah, Team 1. Team 1 will dominate it. I didn't know that it was fantasy football. My bad. I thought you were just like listing two teams like, what do you think of these two hypothetical teams? That was that was my fault. I didn't know it was fantasy. I'd go with Team 1. Brady ain't putting up shit for points this year. Trust me, I have him on like every fantasy team I got. It's fucking been awful. 13-3, uh, to three, the Jaguars hit the field goal and take a 10-point lead now with 2.55 to play in the third, or in the second. 2.55 remains in the first half. It's a commercial break, so I have the audio muted. Uh, 2.55 to play. We'll see what happens. What's up, Alex? How's it going? Eh. Is it a big deal early in the NBA season? Um, prior to Christmas, is it a big deal in the NBA to lose a bunch of games? Like, you don't want to do too bad, but like... Isn't it like a kind of like an age old saying that the NBA season doesn't really start till Christmas? As long as it isn't like um, a disaster start to the season anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, I get Pacheco for the Chiefs because um, the Chiefs don't really like they might run it a bit more seeing as like they don't have to like, you know, sit back on, and the Chief, and the Seahawks suck at running defense. Like, the Seahawks are really, really, really bad at rush defense. So you could see where the Chiefs might be like, you know, because they know they have to go against Tariq Woolen. They maybe don't have the greatest receiving core, you know, not like like they usually do anyway. So, yeah, you could see where the Chiefs might run the ball with Pacheco. Um, but, yeah, McKinnon's on the same team, right? The Pacheco, I understand, but it's like... <laughs> Isn't McKinnon on the same? I just realized that. Wait a minute. What's up, Jay? Thank you for subscribing, man. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that like just struck me. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> McKinnon's like on the same exact roster as that guy, isn't he? I don't know why you do both. Like, I used to start Damian Harris and Ramadre Stevenson because they both have big games, but Pacheco is just slowly taking McKinnon's like entire workload over. Mm -hmm. 
passed away. Uh, R.I.P. to Franco Harris. Much too quickly. 72 years old. Pretty old for a football player. I will say that's pretty good for a running back that played in the 70s. Um, that didn't go crazy and kill anybody. You know what I mean? Pretty normal guy. Glad to see that he didn't go the way of CTE. And killing himself in some depressing way. That fucking monster. It's crazy that um it I'm glad he was able to make it to his seventies, man. Some of them older athletes don't really live that long. They live they live pretty fucking hard back in their young days. So, you know, that shit catches up to him. Nice to see that uh he at least hit the seventy mark. And them seventies, eighties athletes, boy, oh boy, they were a whole different breed of dude. Getting fucking sloshed, doing drugs. <laughs> But they were all mammoth titans of a game. Legends. Icons. It just sucks when they die. And it's like, ugh. It's a brutal reminder of how old we're all starting to get. Wait, is Trevor Bauer in trouble again? What his dumbass do this time? <laughs> Oh, then Zach Wilson got the shit sacked out of him. It'll be second and 18, and the Jaguars get an 8-yard sack. Uh, Robertson Harris on the sack. Number 95. That'll bring up second and 18. A lot of big bodies in the interior creates a one-on-one matchup and throw in a little bit of... Just wait for a second half, Zach Wilson, Jags Nation. You guys aren't ready. Wait till he starts rattling off them 50-yard bombs. Mike White? Yeah, he'll probably be starting once he's healthy again. I think it's his team to lose. Uh, Zach Wilson's done nothing to win his job back. And that ball gets swatted down. It'll be third and 18. It's starting to rain like shit, too. This Jets offense is finished tonight. That motherfucker, they're, they're booing him. <laughs> No, leave Robinson, poor Zach. He's getting booed by the Jets' home crowd. Right by the, the offensive lineman. This shit was happening against Detroit, too. He's an imposing guy at 6'6", 290. Oh, he got his uh, suspension re uh, reduced? Hell yeah, congrats to Trevor Bauer. I'm glad to see he'll be back this year. Um, next time, maybe uh, don't fuck your girlfriend so hard, fucking retard. On the 17th play they run. He's so lucky that he had like so much evidence that supported a whole different narrative. Holy shit, he got lucky, guys. Oh. <laughs> we won't go much into the Trevor Bauer situation, but boy, oh boy, did my man Trevor ever get lucky. That they document, they texted about way too much. He he took some behaviors in the bedroom a little bit too far, and let's just say he's into a uh, bondage and BDSM, I would say, and he he hurts he beat somebody up pretty good. Um, and the woman alleged that they went too he went too far with the whole thing, um, but it was it's really none of our business, in my opinion. <laughs> um, the way I look at stuff like that. Um, but he's kind of uh he's very very lucky that he docked that, that there was just this large bit of documentation about the situation like a lot of doc like a lot of texting and a lot of like weird pictures and a lot of requests from the woman um but again Trevor probably did go a little bit too out of control yeah he's a super freak that's the best way to put it by the way it's a 2 minute warning that's why the game suddenly stopped uh, i haven't we just didn't decide to just or go to the game and talk about some crazy shit about Trevor Bauer. <laughs> um, it's uh, 13 to 3 at the two minute warning. It's fourth and 12. Jets will be punting the football away. Two minute warning. We'll see what the Jags do with the ball at the two minute bop. Uh, Jags have two timeouts to utilize. Jets have three if they want to, you know, make a couple stops and get the ball back. Uh, Dodgers might be cutting him. Yeah, I hope the Tigers pick him up. Uh, where I'm at in Texas, I got to face a freeze. Yeah, stakes. If you're in a place where it's usually warm, stay safe, by the way. 
Um, you guys are more the people I worry about than the folks up in Montana getting minus 70. While I do worry about them, they're, they're, they're built different. They're like, they're like the Texans of the North up in Montana. They're a bunch of like similar people, but they can handle like, they're basically ready to go. But the uh, people in Texas, I worry about, they don't do well in the cold. Um, the central and the American league or do you, do you mean national? Probably the Guardians right now, if I had to think about it. Guardians or Minnesota, uh, uh, probably Guardians. And nobody else in the Central did any goddamn thing. Royals Royals are a couple years away. Tigers, I have no idea what we're doing. Fucking garbage fucking Scott Harris. And then um, Minnesota could be good. Just kind of depends. They're, they're always all over the place. Uh, and Guardians seem like the team who did anything. I don't know. White Sox shed their whole goddamn team. What's up, Trey? Oh, nice to see you, Trey. Let me give you back your mod now. I haven't seen you in a while. I took away, I took away everybody's mods that I hadn't seen in a while. I was going to see how long it took them to come back. Welcome back. Yeah, at 24 likes, by the way. I appreciate that. If you haven't left a like, consider adding it. Yeah, White Sox shed all their good players. Um, they shed them all. But next week will be warm for a few days and it's heading back. Ugh, that sucks for Texans. I feel bad for Texas whenever it gets cold. Uh, all right. Where the hell are they taking over at the, with the ball? I didn't really see where they... Oh, what the, where the fuck did my... Ugh. It's pouring there now. First and 10 at the 33 for the Jags. Right, four weeks in a row, working overtime, or exhausted F, but got it. Hey, hell yeah. No, it's nothing personal, Trey. Um, I took away a lot of people's mods. When they come back, they'll get their they'll get it back. I'm hoping to get some snow in this freeze. And oh, there you go. You can always look forward to that. You guys probably enjoy the little bits of snow that pop up. Yeah, White Sox are gonna be bad, Dennis. I feel your pain though. There's a Tigers fan. Uh, yeah, Gary, this could be a um, kill drive. Second down, and uh, they run the ball, though, which is kind of strange. And they, they're showing no no desire to score. Here, Husky, I was going to say your Husky's probably loving this shit. I was surprised Guardians won it as well, because I thought it would be the Twins or White Sox, but... Now I, now I know the Guardians are a solid team. I didn't know that their young guys were that good. It's like sleeting in New York right now, it looks like. That like weird combo of snow, rain. What's up, Daniel Barry, the GOAT? Anyway, uh, third and one with 58 seconds to go. Surprised the Jets aren't taking any timeouts either. Poor use of clock management by the Jets. Ooh, big play, though. For number uh, out to Travis Etienne, all the way to the Jets, 36. It'll be first and 10. Huge pickup there by Travis Etienne. Good play there by the Jags. And that was against, uh, who was that against? Oh, that was on Sars Gardner's side of the field. Sheesh, that was on old Sars Gardner. The greatest corner to ever play football, I've been told by Jets fans. Better than everybody. Better than anyone who's ever played. They might rename the position Sauce Gardner. Is what I've been told. By Jets fans. And the NFL media. I've been told by the NFL media that Sauce Gardner is so good that, like, Darrell Revis is giving all his records over to him. Which is crazy. Just gonna just change his name to Sauce Gardner so the records say Sauce. So the night started in gloriously for Lawrence. Sack fumble, which led to a, a Jets field goal early on. They're thinking about renaming the Jets to this uh the New York Sauce Gardeners. Hasty is in the backfield. Shoots it to him a little bit behind him, and that will make it third down and ten. He's that good. Third and 10, by the way, at the 36-yard line. 35 seconds to go. The Jaguars still have both their timeouts, though, so that's good. Uh, Jets kiss those playoffs. Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, you know, 
I'm sure Jets fans are just happy to be even like near the playoffs this year in a year that they probably thought they'd only win like five games total um, and be nowhere near this situation. So yeah. if you're a Jets fan, you can't really be that upset. It's like if you're a Lions fan, like, do you think any Lions fans going to be upset if they missed the playoffs after the way this year ended up? No. Just like Giants fans. You really, it's going to be hard to get, like, if the Giants make the playoffs, you can't say shit to them people. They'll never not. They'll be, we made the playoffs. Most people had us winning two games this year. Uh, Jaguars finally take a timeout, though. With uh, 29 seconds to play here in the quarter. 29 seconds left in the first half. It is fourth and super duper short. I don't, I don't know the exact. I think it's fourth and inches, fourth and one-ish. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to yawn. Probably made some of you yawn. Probably made you go, how the fuck did I yawn? What the fuck? I hate witchcraft. All right, they're going to try the field goal anyway. Um, I don't know if I'd kick a ball right now. It's fucking shitty ass outside. Yeah, I didn't think that was a good idea. Uh, Riley Patterson, I'll be able to hit the field goal. Probably not the best idea to try that there. Probably should have tried to convert it and keep trying to score. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, 25 seconds remain in the half. Jets get the ball with three timeouts. I wonder if they just kneel it out and go to half, though. Yeah, that wind is just shitty. And that creates the miss. Yeah, that's what I mean. They've been they've been converting all this shit all day. I don't know why they just didn't go. That's a tough kick to make in that situation. The Jets gonna go for it anyway, or at least go for a play. They do a long kneel of five yards, <laughs> like a five yard kneel. Why not? They check it down to number 83, Conklin. Not much really there. And he gets stopped, and Jets take a timeout. They could be able to. He has the arm to get him down there in like a play or two. Um, so, anyway, 15 seconds. Jets have two timeouts. This should be a pretty long attempt. Oh, that was a seven yard pickup, by the way. Second down and three coming. I apologize for the yawning. To absolutely nobody. By the way, thank you to everyone who's left a like. We're up at 25 before halftime, which is really well, basically at halftime, which is really good. Appreciate that very much. Helps the stream out tremendously. Oh, they stopped him. Well, he didn't get anything. Third and three. But he got out of bounds, so that's the more important thing. Uh, nine seconds. Oh, no, I don't think he got out of bounds. Never mind. Yeah, that's because uh, Conor McGregor is the GOAT. I'll, I'll probably stream his next fight. You know, like live react to it like other people do. Um, when's his next scheduled fight? I know it's coming up soon, right? Old goat's coming out of retirement to beat the fuck out of somebody. Hopefully. Sport needs him to be good. To at least win another couple fights. He's been the, he's the most entertaining guy that sport's ever produced. So, so this summer. I know his legs. He's recovering really quickly from that leg injury he suffered. That was nasty. I felt so bad for Connor when that happened. I was like, oh, fuck, dude. And that'll be fourth and three. Incomplete pass with five seconds to go. Why don't they just run a fucking Hal Mary right here? Who cares? There'll be like two seconds left. Ah. The fucking home crowds are booing him. 
Yeah, Connor's getting jacked up too. I'm I'm loving it. I, I again I just enjoy everything about McGregor. He's perfect for what that sport needed in terms of um what's the word? Marketability. Call timeout. Call timeout. Call timeout. If you're the Jets, call timeout. There you go. I don't know why the Jets were gonna run that play. They didn't look like they knew what the fuck they were doing. How hard is it to run a trips bunch Hail Mary? Like that's what they're setting up to run. I don't understand unless they're setting up a really convoluted ass play to bail the Patriots out. You know what I hope happens here? The Jets run a stupid ass play that is somehow worse than what the Patriots just did against the Raiders, you know? Yeah, despite all our horseshit, the Patriots still sit at the eight seed. Bum, 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 bum. All we got to do is beat the Bengals and hope that one of these bitch ass teams like the Chargers or Dolphins lose this weekend. Very unlikely. Motherfuckers. That'll be a false start. Up the Texans beat the Titans. Uh, winning will not affect our draft, but it'll. Yeah, Trey, I hope you guys beat them too, just because it'd be very, very funny. Plus, I know how much you hate. Again. Every Texans fan, I've said all week, every Texans fan, that's the one game they want to win this year. They wouldn't even care if it made them get the number two pick. Gotta fuck their season over. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't gone with Strebler. I, I wonder if in the second half they're just going to go with Strebler. Like, yeah, it can't be much worse. Wilson looks, looks, takes a shot. And it's intercepted. This could be ran back. They go with the pitch. Oh, and the Jacks player slipped and fell down. They could have ran that back for a touchdown. If, if he didn't slip and fall right there, he was running that back for a touchdown. For sure, Aaron. I don't blame you. I've had a couple yawns in this one. Yeah, it's time to get rid of this guy. Jets fans are booing this dude at nauseum. The hilarity of that situation. Fireman Ed looks sad. Oh, poor, poor Fireman Wilson, whatever the fuck his name is. Receipts, baby. Receipts. Merry Christmas, Aaron. If I don't see you to then, uh, hopefully you have a good one, my friend. Stay safe with the uh, with all the snow coming. It's halftime, everybody. The score is thirteen to three. The score is thirteen to three here at the half. The Jaguars lead pretty comfortably. I believe the Jets get the ball at the half, though. So, could be wrong, but I do believe the Jaguars um, got the kick to begin the game. Good first half, by the way. Thank you. We hit about 25, 26 likes. I appreciate that very much. If you haven't done so, consider dropping a like. It'll help the stream out. Maybe get a few more people in here. But, you know, we're doing pretty good on that anyway. Hopefully everyone's having a good Thursday night. Uh, good, uh, what, two days before Christmas? Three days, really. Um, but if you don't really count today, it's it's two, right? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's the, the day. This doesn't feel like a Friday. It's weird. Or a Saturday. It's weird. Jets get ball, but Wilson's trash. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like the Jaguars get the ball at the half. <laughs> Uh, I would. Uh, I wonder if I'll get snow. The temp here is there, and it's. Well, Trey, you guys could get snow, but I know a lot of people are getting a terrible fucking cold front, or just like a cold spell moving through. Um, in Michigan, we're protected by the cold spell. Uh, I'll provide an image here in a second. Let me show you. Um, here's a good visualization of what I was talking about earlier. You can see here where it's going to be freezing for everywhere for literally everywhere around Michigan has this um freezing and then you see Lake Michigan here and I believe Superior's right up here it's it's just you can see these we're in this weird protected zone where we stay warmer but this is all going to be fucked with snow this whole shit's is getting snow destroyed cold snow we're going to get mollywopped But also, we won't get fucking... We're not going to be as cold as you. Uh, if I do stream... Wait, wait. Oh, the UFC? Are you talking about Connor's next fight?
Dang, it's 30 degrees, but the wind has the feels like minus one. That's that's the thing. Um, yeah, Trey, that's probably that's the thing that's getting everybody is this wind chill in Montana. I think it's minus 70 uh, out with the wind chill. Could you imagine minus 70, you guys? Really stop and think about that. This is one of those snowstorms and cold storms that could be like, you know how like our grandparents are like, you would never believe the snowstorm in 1971. And it's like, how bad was the snowstorm in 1971 that you remember the year? Oh. And like everybody of a certain age goes, yeah, that is snowstorm in 1971. Well, oh, it's the worst thing ever. And it's like, are we about to have our snowstorm in 1971 this year? What are we, what is about to happen? The way the news is, they're calling this like snowmageddon. What, what else have they been calling it? It's just snowpocalypse. Everywhere is freezing in the United States. Am I making a video? What video are you making tomorrow, Kenny? For sure, Jags. I'd appreciate that Um, if I do wind up doing it. Yeah, I yeah, I try. I'd I'd give up. I'd just go somewhere in the woods and just sit in there and wait for nature to take its course. Oh, about the snow? That'd be cool, Kenny. That'd be a helpful video. Get a few extra views. <clears throat> nice and uh trendy. Nice trendy topic. Boy, this has been a slow game so far, eh? There was a prop bet that Wilson would throw for 200 yards, two touchdowns, and it was like plus 3,000 odds. Is that really bad? I'm not much of a gambler, but I feel like something that's in the plus 3,000s means that there's almost no shot at hits because most sports books can only go to what, plus 9,000 as like a maximum for odds? Like you can only give so good of odds on a single thing, and it's like, oh, we'll give you plus 3,000 on this. You want to bet that this guy throws for 200 yards and two touchdowns that's your own that's your lost money but we'll give you like plus 3,000 on those odds bring the barrel used for burning trash to keep inside the inside warmer yeah but like the problem is is like the carbon monoxide so what you should do is just um yeah do that anyway and just you know slowly let yourself consume that and go away just nah I hate the cold so much it's only, you know it's crazy it's 37 degrees where i live <laughs> it's not even cold it's like oh this is like seasonable for winter i can deal with 40 degrees in the winter time Ain't even snow and raw man it's it's just called sleet that's like snow come yeah yeah 3000 is a sucker one it's like it's it's so high it's enticing you to take it but it's so unlikely to happen Plus 9,000, if you would have took that bet last week, do you know what the uh, odds were at halftime for the Charger or for the Vikings to lose that game or win that game? I think most sports books had a, its max thing of like plus 9,000, plus 10,000. If, if you would have put like 10 bucks on that, you would have won like $900, <laughs> right? If it's like a 9,000, if you bet 10 bucks, how much would you have won? 90, 900, something like that. Because a hundred would have won you a thousand dollars, right? Or whatever it was, like eight thousand, nine thousand bucks. If you'd have just been like, "Hey, what are the odds? I'm gonna put a hundred dollars on the Vikings to win this game. That'd be pretty, pretty crazy." I don't really gamble though. So, what's up, Kryptonian? How's it going, boss? Still have time, by the way. I'm ready to see the storm and get it done with. Yeah, I think that's where we're all at. Just just bring it on. I'm ready for the longest, coldest winter ever. And then it and then in SpongeBob it's the uh it's immediately springtime in the survival of springtime idiots episode. What's up, Daniel? Merry Christmas, my friend. Merry Christmas. Go Lions and lose sober. It's the best freedom I've ever tasted. Hell yeah, man. Um, not much of a partier myself. Sometimes I like to get down with some stuff, but nothing too crazy. The Bucks. I think they could still win the Super Bowl, believe it or not. I think if they make the playoffs, they're a very dangerous football team to have to deal with. 
mainly because of, uh, it's going to be a different Bucks team po po uh, playoffs. But I could also just be coping and my Brady fandom blinding me. But if you go look at raw statistics, their I mean their defense I believe is top five, and their offense isn't as bad as you think it is. It's, it's I think they're a victim of coaching, to be fully honest with you. But tease what to tease. Yeah, man, congrats, Daniel. I'm glad you're able to find freedom in sobriety. I got a bad back, so I don't know if I'd ever be able to quit smoking weed. Yeah, exactly, Gary. It's just one of them things where I'm like, man, as bad as things are with Tampa, I just don't know yet. And again, that's probably, again, my blind, my blind Brady fandom that's been there since I've started watching football, but, you know. Just not quite ready to see Brady be bad. And again, I think if his line was better, he'd be having a good year, but... That is not the case for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this season. Brady always, uh, Brady's one thing he struggled with, even when he was a young cat, was the ability to deal with a good pass rush. He's really bad with like, um, like a hyper aggressive pass rush really throws Tom off. Um, cause again, he's immobile. So like, that's a big problem for him. Um, and at 45 with a bad line, that's an even bigger problem for him. Well, there you go, Daniel. That's the way to be about it. Hell yeah. Glad to hear, Dan. I'm glad you're not, you know, it's the way to be. Life's, I th I've always considered life to be a little bit more fun that way. You get to experience more. Yeah, he, I mean, well, he's, I mean, he is 45, good Cheeto, so, you know, he probably lost a little bit of arm pop. Nothing wrong with that. His arm was never the strongest. Zach Wilson is not that guy. You're, was, we need to send that one, uh, the one guy in there, you know, the guy from the video. He needs to go up to Zach Wilson with a sad face and be like, you're not that guy. Just do it all sad. Only down two possessions. Yeah, it, it genuinely feels like the score is um, like 28 to 3 right now. Yeah, 30 to 3. Yeah, yeah exactly, KHY. Kobe, I don't disagree. Uh, in the perfect weather for hot coffee, hot chocolate, hot beef. Just something hot, eh, Kev? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. We've seen Drew, Bree get, uh, Drew Brees get noodle armitis. Peyton Manning, even though I'm not really going to count him because, you know. I mean, the neck thing. Peyton, Peyton may have had, like, if he didn't break his neck and have all those problems go down, um, I say break neck is just a euphemism and a quick way to cover it up, but, you know, I, I don't know if his arm would have fell apart as quick as it did. Or if the FDA didn't intercept his steroids before the season started that year, but shh. We don't talk about the Peyton Manning steroid shipment that got intercepted. And he never got tested that year. Isn't that crazy? He has like a miracle recovery from fucking arm surgery, comes back and, or from neck surgery, Peyton does. He was pretty much retired and has like a career year and then he's broken the next year fundamentally because his steroids didn't arrive at his house that year. Oh, crazy. And then his wife took the blame and whatever. Let's go card, Carolina, Tampa Bay. Is that, is that one of your parlays, Kobe? Same, I'm looking for him. Uh, I'm hoping for him. What are your thoughts on New England right now? Uh, Patriots can be fixed easily next season with a new offensive coordinator. I have a couple working theories about what they could do in the offseason. They either keep Mac, re-sign Brady. Um, those are two options with keeping Mac. Or they trade Mac for Lamar Jackson straight up in a couple draft picks. Um, or something even crazier happens in Lamar. Your car gets moved, the Mac gets sent over to Raiders, and the Patriots make a move at a different quarterback. There's a five, there's a few different situations uh, that I think could happen, but I think the most likely is they just get a new coordinator and keep Mac. Because that offensive coordinator situation is bad. Uh, just a Jets listen to NBA young boy right now and might come back. Hey, hopefully they're, um, hopefully they're listening to the good songs, the the fighting songs. 
you know the ones where like you always see people like jump from high buildings in like full flight modes and they're like standing that's motherfuckers listening to NBA Youngboy 100% maybe the Jets should put sauce in his QB hey I mean he's better than everyone in the NFL basically yeah, face masks and uh, those balaclavas, um, uh, gators, all those things. Yeah, gators. I, I if it's really windy, I pull my gator out of my backpack from the from the COVID era. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on a second. This shit was warm as a motherfucker. You know how nice it is to have those accessories and to have that like back knowledge now. The wind can't even get me cold anymore because of my COVID mask. Being a gator, so now I just blink, pull that thing all the way up to here. Walk around town like this in a snowstorm. So much better. By the way, second half's underway. Commanders? Um, no, I think uh, the loser of the Giants-Commanders game will wind up missing the playoffs. Houston, Seattle, and New York Giants. Um, I agree Houston could. I don't know about Seattle. I don't think they have the defense, but maybe Giants too. There you go, Trey. Yeah, that's the Colts. It's a team that you uh, hate probably more than a lot. Anyway, first and 10 at the 17 for the Jets. Who do I think is going to be super? Um, I have the Bills Bucks. I'm going to stick with my preseason prediction. Who do you got, Gary? You have Vikings beating Giants 63-35. Ape. <laughs> it's a wild score. San Francisco champs. I wouldn't be stunned if the 49ers won a Super Bowl. They have one of them like historic type defenses that pretty much just win a Super Bowl as long as you can score like 15 or more points. They're a scary defense. Oh, what a hit. Good play by the Jacks to stop him there. It'll be third and one. Bengals and Eagles. Fair enough. That's not a bad Super Bowl. I have a feeling it'll be KC will go off on the Seahawks. Yeah, same here, Kryptonian. Same here. Bill, Bills will beat Bears 100 nothing. Yeah, I like your meme scores. They're funnier. You got KC on most tickets. Yeah, Kobe, that's not a bad pick for a Super Bowl. I wouldn't be shocked if they went. 49ers versus Bills. Uh, Super Bowl with 49ers winning. That's what I feel like a lot of people have something similar. Nice to see where everybody's up at, though. All right, Jets on third and one. They're going to look, look, look. Uh, Wilson, run it. Why didn't he just run the ball there? Oh, just run it. Just He could have just took off. Just run. Why didn't he just run the ball? Am I crazy to think he should have just ran with it right there? Or, do, like, you know, again, I'm, you know, I'm just an armchair watcher of the game, but was not the whole middle of the goddamn field opened up for this dude? It just, bloop. And for someone who can run the football as well as he can, it's like, what is he doing? You're going to your first uh, NHL hockey game? Oh, hell yeah, you'll love that. I don't even like hockey and hockey games rule. Fourth and one. The two main predictions right now, Eagles versus Bills and Lions versus Jacks. For the Super Bowl? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of hockey, um, but I think the live-action NHL games are a different level of... Uh, those are exciting. <laughs> those are exciting motherfucking things. You don't even have to like hockey, and that motherfucker... It's a very rowdy atmosphere. Well, hold on. The only games I've been to are Red Wings home games. Um, so, it's a little bit of a different story, I guess, being from Michigan and having the Red Wings. But anyway, that'll be a false start. It'll be fourth and six. CJ Uzoma. Yeah, hockey games are fucking really ex like fun experiences, especially if you have a good hockey team. But Detroit's also hockey town, so it's it's again it's probably a little different in Michigan. Uh, Jaguars take the field. It'll be I didn't really see where they cleanly put the ball at. Do you see this bad throwing form? They fixed that shit this year. That's why having good coaching is so important. Mechanics are so important at the NFL level. The longer you take to throw and the more hits you have, they look at this year, quick, boom, point three, point three, point three. 
And but last year he had that whole hitch one one two three four five you know what I mean like that adds up so quick. That goes from sack to balls out and you have a first down. Goes from pick to first down. Wisconsin. Um, well, I don't know. Maybe. Good stop there. It'll be second down and nine. My first minor hockey game, three fights in the Houston. Hey, there you go. You love watching hockey. Uh, love scraps of hockey games. Yeah, those used to be fun. Yeah, they used to let the fighting be more. But then they got rid of it, and I fucking lost interest. Brady averages 2.3, 2.49 for Lawrence. He fixed that up pretty good. No hockey team in uh, Wisconsin. Okay, Kenny. Lawrence throws. Marvin Jones Jr. Stop just short. It'll be third and one. I think that was Marvin Jones. Um, yeah, it was Marvin Jones. Okay. You know, he might be Marvin Jones Sr. now that I think about it. He probably had a son by now. And probably became senior. <laughs> He's like, nah, I just always like being junior. Can the Jets make an early and much needed stop? All right, third and one here for the Jaguars. Ball's at the 41-yard line, or 40-yard line, rather. They do. Trevor Lawrence sneaks it up the middle and gets a first down. It's nice to see Lawrence take that step. He's clearly going to be a uh, guy in the league. You know what was really nice? When everybody was saying Trevor Lawrence was a bust, you know what I told them? Shut the fuck up. I know I. You can never count his first year of football. Basically, just forget that that ever even happened. Pretend like that wasn't even a real thing. The 2020 Jaguars actually didn't exist. That wasn't a real team. They didn't really do anything. Um, the stats are irrelevant from that year because this is his real rookie season. This is what I expected last year from Trevor. A rough start and then a very good end of the season. But it kind of... Urban Meyer. I mean, ugh, the fuck is that? Yeah, 2021 just didn't happen. Wasn't a year. Oh, did I say 2020? Yeah, forget 2020 as well. Fuck it. Forget two years of Jack's history. Nothing happened anyway. God, he's getting so, he's so fucking good. Jesus, what a throw. What a throw by Lawrence. First down. Dude, he's shitting on this Jag secondary right now. Future Patriot can't wait. I heard he dreams about playing for Bill Belichick one day. This is the team's first season. Now they almost made it to a Super Bowl one year. Yeah, they're really not looking like, dude, everyone else has struggled with the Jets' defense. The Jags are like, we don't know what everyone struggled about. This is weird. How'd we lose to the Lions after they fucking struggle busted against this team? You know, that Lions loss probably just pisses Jaguars fans off even more. It's like, how'd we get fucking beat up like that? What even happened to us in that game? Stand up for a sec. See, this is what I don't understand. What happened to the Jaguars against the Lions? Like, what? This is... Uh, Lions just that good? Lions actually underrated. They get the completion out to number 17. Uh, uh, you know what's funny? Evan Ingram's good everywhere but the Giants. As a Pats fan, if you could change uh, history, would you have a Swind AFC championship game? What do I get in return? Do I get the undefeated season back? Because that takes away our Falcons Super Bowl win. If we get the undefeated Super Bowl in return for that, I'll give you the Falcons Super Bowl. I don't care about losing to Nick Foles. 
I'd rather have the Super Bowl appearance and the su or and and just hold the loss if we can't get rid of that uh, Giants win or loss. Flag on the play that looks like it'll be coming back. Probably holding. If the year has taught me anything, yeah, no lead is safe in 2022. Jaguars defensive struggles. Fair enough. I wouldn't change that. No, um, you guys lost that game fair and square, Jack. Sorry to say. Because every time the Patriots get screwed by officiating, I have to deal with shitty ass little Jaguars fans coming in here and being like, oh, that's payback. It's like, when is payback going to stop? How much more payback do you guys need? Jesus Christ. Ape, it would be very glorious to see that. But, I mean, as a Patriots fan, I can't really laugh much. Because <laughs> the same for us this week. <laughs> but at least Patriots fans are able to admit we don't have a good team this year. Jets fans are like, whoa, we're so close. It's like, eh, not really. No, there's a whole bunch of uh, Jags. There's like, there's like a hundred Jags fans that you just don't know about. You never met them. You're too new. Well, you got Cam Robinson, who's the starter left tackle. We've talked about tonight is out for the year. We wish him well. You're like a new viewer, dude. You you've only been here for a few weeks, you know. You know, last week was a swing tackle. You had to play both the left and the right some. But when you heard all that cadence before the snap, kill, kill, kill. I'm getting a look at what it's uh, gonna look like when the golden age of Astros baseball is over. Just look at people talk about it. Oh, yeah, Trey, enjoy it. Yeah, if you're a fan of a dynasty, just look at what's happened to the Patriots. Oh, yeah, every loss is hilarious. Yeah, it's a big uh, Blake Bortles fan contingency that comes through. Yeah, I got the wrong I got the wrong year. When you play in a lot of Super Bowls, Ape, it happens. I get a lot of years mixed up. 20, uh, second and 18. Jaguars looking, looking, looking. Lawrence throws and they drop it. Okay, now we're good to go. It's a rare third down and long. Jacksonville's been really good tonight. Let us, oh, you're talking to Shrey. It's 16-3, the new 28-3. No, the new 28-3 is 33 nothing. It'll be hard. What is that? What is that emoji? What's that even supposed to be, uh, Panda? The Jets, yeah, they're loading. They're working. Uh, fourth down now. Fourth and ten. Eight yard pickup. Not really much there. I mean, you know, not bad. A little screenplay. I like how the whole league just copied Josh McDaniel doing screenplays on third and long. Like, that's like the weirdest thing. It's like, why does everyone do this now? This was specifically a Josh McDaniel special that Patriots fans hated. It never works. Green plays on third and long are stupid, and I hate them every time. Uh, unless you're close enough to get a field goal, I guess. Anyway, uh, I'm going to mute it now because it's going to go to a commercial break, and there's a bunch of harlots doing the can-can. Um, 7.06 to play here in the third. 16-3 to is the score. Uh-oh. You never want to lead a game 16-3 to in 2022. I root for the Texans because Jags in playoffs is funny. Yeah, if you're right now, this is not good. If you're a Jags fan with um this score, you're probably like, uh oh. This isn't good. This has been like three blown leads this year. I think twice um in recent memory, and then I think in like week eleven it happened as well. What, the Rams uh won a game that way? What's up, Nicholas? How's it going, man? Um, the Bucks won a game this way, and I believe the Colts won a game this way. Believe it or not. 
No, wait. Who is the... Someone else too, right? Eagles? Yeah, the Eagles won a game this year uh, over the Colts that way, if I'm not mistaken. Panda hitting the dab. Good. Glad to hear, man. Glad to hear. Kind of a ugly game so far here tonight, but it's a commercial break. Rams versus Raiders and Bucks versus Saints. Yep, and then uh, Eagles versus Colts, I believe, as well. So it's happened three times this year. It's a point where if you're leading in the third, just kneel for the rest of the game and you have better chance. Yeah, pretty much, Trey. I mean, not it's not terrible. I have teams, uh, I know teams have blown 16 to three leads this year, but the Jets offense with Zach Wilson is downright putrid. You guys just aren't ready for what's about to happen. I call it the um, Zach amorphosis. Zach's about to turn into Tom Brady. You'll see. Watch this drive. You're gonna be like, dang, look at this guy. Who the the Zach Wilson guy is is pretty good. I was wrong. They have a graphic, the Jets QB burden. What a what a mean graphic to put up about old Zach Wilson. Calling him a fucking burden position. It's like jeez. That's rough. Thirteen three, then thirteen ten, then sixteen ten. Yeah, close enough. Yeah, exactly, Nicholas. Plus, it's the Jets. You know, fuck them. I want the Jags to win, but I picked the Jets to win in my pick them. So now I look like a dipshit. Why did he stop that from going out of bounds? Oh, he it went out of bounds first. Okay, kick went out of bounds, so it'll be first and ten at the forty for the Jets. I genuinely thought he fielded that before it went out of bounds. Like, what is he doing? I'm not even a draft analyst analysis guru, but I've seen this coming with Zach. Yeah, same here. Yeah, exactly, KHY. Um, the way I looked at uh, 6 and 8, uh, Quan. Um, but uh, yeah, same here. I, was, I just knew he didn't have any intangibles. And he probably wouldn't be, you know, his footwork was bad, kind of shitty mechanics. Good arm, good athleticism, but shit intangibles, bad mechanics. Yeah, I was like, Ugh, pass. Overrated, couldn't be bad. Terrible pick if you could draft him. And then the Jets took him, and I was happy as fuck. That was my favorite pick of the draft, by the way, was when they picked Zach Wilson. I was like, ah, they fucked up. <laughs> so many better options, and they took this loser. Yeah, Justin Fields. Yeah, they'd be they'd probably win the division this year with Justin Fields. Uh, 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 uh. First and twenty now after a holding call, it'll be backed up to the thirty. First and ten at the uh, first and twenty at the thirty for the Jets. Anybody else they could have took at that position been way better. Have a good night, uh, Charles. Thanks for tuning in, man. I appreciate you. Stay safe with all the weather. Fields and Wilson and Brees. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean, Cage. Why they could have drafted Fields and had a monstrous team. So, five yard sack on the play. Just double shot. I'm a Texans fan, but I love Tua. Rooting for them from. There you go. You're a Dolphins fan. All right. Be right back. I'm going to go get a little soda. Make it through the rest of this game. Enjoy the second half.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, losing Brees Hall ruined their season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're getting the foot. Oh, yeah, I didn't unmute it. I apologize, guys. My fault. Yeah, they they don't like Zach Wilson very much. Oh, that punk got shanked a little bit. Oh, there's flag on the play, though. Sorry, I was eating some chocolate. Probably a little bit of a unnecessary roughness on number six right there. Eh, not, uh, eh. Couple of face masks. Probably shouldn't call that. I don't. I don't think that should be called. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, 34 kicking team, 15-yard penalty. At the end of the play, first down. Well, of all people, that's Justin Hardy was just. Anyway, um, it'll be the Jaguars ball first and 10. I don't really know where they're at yet. We'll see where they put it. But um, it's a commercial break, so I'm muting it with 509 to play in the third. 509 remains here in the third quarter. It's 16 to 3 Jaguars. They have the ball. They could go for a kill shot this drive. Most hilarious Super Bowl win. The Falcons, a team with the losing record, plus a three or year. And a yeah, I mean, that'd be pretty funny. Atlanta makes the playoffs and wins. You can hear the booze all the way in. Oof. Yeah, Zach Wilson's finished. He's a fraud. Unfortunately, though. Ooh. Nope, me either. It'll be first and 10 at the 50. Uh, first and 10 at the 50. The penalty was on the Jets players, so that kind of sucks. I don't know. Not me, Jags. I was saying you guys could probably blow them out. You guys would be the only offense to do that, probably. That's what I was saying. I don't know, comebacks are a thing, but it's hard to do when you're getting booed by your own fans. Yeah, Trey, these these aren't the same booze that the Vikings fans were giving. These are, um, we're so fucking sick of this booze. Get this dude off the field booze. We're going to, we're going to riot if you don't get rid of him booze. Yeah, Nicholas, their season, well, I mean, to be fair, Nicholas, their season probably ended when Brees Hall went out. He was, you know, the whole offense. Oh, come on, commercial break. Even the, the even the NFL is like, oh, we don't really want to watch this game anymore. That's some commercials. <laughs> exactly, yeah. ACLs are a little weird, but I'm sure it'd be fine. He's a young guy. Yeah, he had a decent combine, and he played all right his last year of college there. Um, I just didn't like his intangibles. I didn't really like his mechanics. Jonathan Taylor, yep. Yep, yep. Uh, Five-yard pickup. What is this? What is this garbage? Or three-yard pickup, rather. Second and seven at the Jets, 42. All right, here we go. They're going to go with a handoff here on second down, and they get a few. That's what everyone was kind of hoping, uh, Cheeto. But too bad he sucks. Uh, I remember one analyst saying Zach Wilson was better than Tua and Mac Jones. Yeah, that was a shit take. I do so many bad ones. It's 
some point do they just yeah. give out? I'm pretty good with evaluating young quarterbacks pretty immediately. I rarely miss. Josh Allen I messed up on. I didn't I thought he wasn't gonna fix his mechanics. We still have four minutes to go in the third. Third and five. Like, yeah, he's just kinda lazy about it. I was wrong though. Ooh, he might have been beyond the line of scrimmage though. Yeah, nah, that was a drop too. Yeah, that wasn't a catch. Nice try, but this time the defense is aware of that. Oh yeah, that's off the ground. What'd you find, Ape? But that time there's an awareness to Trevor Lawrence. So they come up to take it Yeah, that bounced. Yep, that's on the ground. Good try. Fourth and five. Balls at the Jets forty. They'll probably have to punt this away. Logan Cook. Yep. Punting unit out. Go for a fake. Trying to pin it inside the 10, and they do a good job, and where are they putting it? 9, 10, 11. Good punt. Well, it looks like they're going to go to a commercial break, though, here. Yep. All right. Commercial. Another commercial break. Uh, first and 10 at the 13. First and 10 at the 13-yard line with 331 to play. It's 16 to 3. Jets trailing. Yeah, Jets have to 100%. Uh, Jets defense isn't playing terrible, but they're... Yeah, I mean, the time of possession is crazy. You want to see it? Um, it's probably near 20 minutes for one team. Uh, team stats. Yeah, 27 minutes for the... <laughs> holy shit. 27 minutes for the Jaguars, only 13 minutes on offense for the Jets. And we're almost done here in the third quarter. Uh, yeah, I think so. They were pretty stoked for Zach Wilson when he came back and he won like three games, if you remember that shit. They thought, they were stoked when it came out that he was fucking people's moms. They were like, oh, Zach Wilson's gonna be a guy. He fucks moms, dude. Like, I don't know, what, the, what, what? Okay. <laughs> like, that was, I mean, that's cool and funny, but like, what does that have to do with his ability to play in the NFL? Search on lines, uh, blown leads in pro sport reference in two full pages of nothing but Falcons blown leads. That is hilarious. Motherfucking Zach Wilson. Yeah, it's a weird flex. How ironic is it? I mean, it is pretty ironic. He was the BYU Cougar. True social media QB. Exactly. Yeah, I think the only BYU quarterback to make it in the NFL because, you know, Mormons don't really connect with the NFL locker room probably very well is what, like, Steve Young. <laughs> Again, a lot of being like a quarterback or some shit, you got to relate to that locker room. And how hard, how easy is it to relate to a locker room when you grow up Mormon? Generally, probably pretty wealthy, uh, never really had any problems in your life. Like Zach Wilson's example of, oh, they have uh, uh, the new quarterback in. Stret Velour is in at quarterback. They go with a quarterback keeper. Number 15 keeps it, and he runs forward and gets about six. The greatest lefty, yep, the lefty Wilson. Yeah, Wilson grew up a hard, uh, grew up a uh, rich kid who whose uncle owns JetBlue, the airplane company. You know, the uh, major airlines in the United States, JetBlue. And um, yeah, Streveler's in. So, and he ran with it, got a few second and six or second and four, six yard pickup. Um, Wilson said his hardest moment in life was when he had to um, get a job as doing DoorDash uh, to help pay for. His uh, vacation he wanted to go on. And he learned what the value of hard work was that way. I wish I was kidding, by the way. Think back really hard. You'll remember hearing that story with Zach Wilson's draft stuff. 
and them trying and people trying the media trying to sell that like it was like some big fucking deal I mean, it is pretty hood to have, I mean, for your parents to make you pay for your own vacation and then match it anyway. So you have double the money. Anyway, first and ten. Straveler is going to run with it. One dude said Baylor is good, but they're, ooh, Baylor's getting their uh, teeth kicked in. How are you going to lose to Air Force? Damn, Strebler's got good career numbers. 18-26, 148 yards, a touchdown, a pick. Pretty good. He's accumulated some decent numbers in a few years. Right? Have you guys um ever heard of uh, Roger Goodell's nephew? Charlton Goodell? Strebler. Oh, completed it! <laughs> Second and nine goes across midfield. Oh, Jaguars fans are shaking right now. Here comes Chris Strebler. Massive big yard pickup. That ball was rifled through the air. 30-yard bullet. Very few quarterbacks could probably make this throw. I mean, to be fair, if you know a slightly better quarterback threw that ball, it's probably a touchdown, but... uh. You know, he only had the guy wide open. Hey, 25 picks of a first. That'll probably be a holding call, though. Kind of. They're they're certainly looking a lot better with big boy uh, with uh, number 15 at quarterback. That'll be holding on uh, number 71 Brown. That'll be a 10 yard penalty. First and 20 at the. Uh, 52 or the 48 of the uh of the of the jets so back to their own 48 they or 49 they go what's up uh shlomo how's it going how close are we to the 30 like mark tonight 27 is my guess please don't let me down i'll be very let down i'll probably start crying if not 28 likes, yeah! I'm fucking good. Alright, yeah, that, by the way, thank you everybody for the uh, likes, by the way. I appreciate it very much. If you have a like, consider doing so. We might even hit to the 30s, maybe even 40s. Tebow doing what he couldn't. Yeah, Tebow, you know, he had a uh, pretty good arm. Three yard loss on the play. Yep, uh, we're going to get one too there, uh, Shlomo. In part, and all over, all kinds of parts of Michigan. Living so close to Lake Michigan has us both doomed. You guys are also going to be a lot colder than us, though, so that sucks. Straveler keeps the ball. Little RPO action. Looks, looks, and he's going to just tuck it and run with it, and he gets quite a few yards, actually. That was a second and 23, and he picks up like 13 yards. I think it's third and 10, third and 9. Randomly, just just because they're cute and quirky, really. The fuck was that? Why'd they just go to a commercial? Oh, it's the end of the third quarter. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Uh, end of the third quarter. It's third and nine. Good run there by uh, Streveler to come in and just kind of get a bunch of yards. Um, he's already the Jets' leading rusher. Uh, third and nine at the Jags 41. Third and nine at the Jags 41. We'll see what they do here on third and long. It's the fourth quarter coming up. Jaguars lead 16 to three. You live one part away from the lake. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you're really going to get hammered. Um, and Korea. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, at least he's not in the American League. So, that's always good. Out of the division. Um, yeah, we'll see what the Jets do. Big play coming up. We'll see what the Groat Strebler does. About to win this game in comeback fashion. Jaguars fans are shaking. That's how bad the Jets offense has been tonight. This dude's come in for like fucking eight plays and he's already the leading rusher. 
Well, there is tape for Strebler. He's just goaded. You know what's sad? Zach Wilson was worse under pressure than Strebler was. Strebler at least knows when to just tuck the ball up and just kind of run away with it. Whereas Zach Wilson was just freaking out. Is Brand is New England making the playoffs? Probably not, uh, Michael. Probably not. But a boy can dream. What up, Kenny? How you doing? How you doing? But it is uh, waiting for the third quarter to, uh, well, fourth quarter to get going here. Lions can make the playoffs. Lamar's out. Ooh. Good thing they're playing the Falcons. Yeah, I was going to say, he's, a bunch of people are out Sunday. Only six player teams worth of players are in Sunday. <laughs> Freaking idiot. <laughs> Noob. <laughs> Dude, guys, let's all laugh at Ven because he said the wrong thing. Like, can you imagine misspeaking? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and I'll just play him. I'm just playing Nicholas. I called you Ven, so that's the wrong person. So you win this one. I misspoke there myself. Fuck. I didn't even mean to do that. So congrats. You get a win and you didn't even know you were playing. For the DQ Blizzard? What's the DQ Blizzard? Oh shit, Strebler just ran in and got a first down. Undefeated GOAT. Are you happy the Detroit Lions? Yeah, I'm happy if the Lions can make the playoffs. Ravens are going to fall to the seventh seed when the season ends. Hopefully they fall out of the playoffs and the Patriots make it. You can't beat up uh, us... Uh, can't beat us a lot anymore, but this year Manfred Institute that all the teams should be. Yeah, they have to all play each other. Yep. Fair enough. Yeah, that's why I know what he meant by DQ. Uh, I just don't know why he's calling it the Dairy Queen Blizzard. First and 10 of the 31. Oh, Strebler's going to do another RPO, and he keeps it, and he picks up a bunch of yards, and rough and tumbles his way. Second and seven, second and two, or well, second and three, second and two. Yeah, I love the Lions. They're my second favorite team, in fact. You know how it goes. No, they just replaced him. He's a bum. He has hurt ego, is what he's got. Hurt pride. He's out for the game with an, uh, with an injured right pride. Second and two. Strebler's just going to run with it. Again. He's like, fuck it. Oh, shit. I got, I got caught that time. Oh, uh, Jose. Yeah, fuck that guy. Same here with the what Tigers. Lions, yeah. Playing great football. Third and four now for the Jets. Big, big down coming up. And Zach Wilson's like, please don't convert. Please don't convert this. Please don't convert this. You know, that's all in his head he's thinking right now. He's like, I just got this offensive line, a bunch of scooters. I think Flacco's hurt. Either side of plate has a menace. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no way. Oh, the ball got knocked out. 84 wasn't able to reel it in. Yeah, probably Nicholas. It's probably for the best. Fourth and four. Ball's at the 25. Rough, rough break. Hit 84 right in the hands. Corey Davis needs to catch that ball. That's inexcusable. I'm not mad at you, Michael. You're good, buddy. You got to catch that one. Oh, they're going to line up here for, uh, on fourth down. If they don't get this, this could be the game. Big play. Let's see what they do. Jets take it. Straveler looks, looks, throws. Did he catch it? Yes, they're going to say he caught it, and they're going to give him a first down based on the spotting. Ooh, that's a big one. No, fuck it. Hurry up. Yeah, run the hurry up, kid. Oh, that's a clean-ass catch, too. They might have punched out right at the bitter-ass end there. Hold on. Hike it, hike it, hike it, hike it, hike it, hike it, hike it. Oh, they got to play. Oh, that could have been challenged. That punch at the end. Look at that punch. Check out that punch at the end and what happens when the ball... Look where the ball is at the end of that play. 
that was very good by the Jets to get that playoff right there. If that would have been challenged, that would have been one. Second down and four, balls at the 15. Yeah, that literally, that the ball gets punched out and the fucking ball skids on the ground for a second. I'm like, ooh, 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 they got that playoff quick. Good job by the Jets there. That's a very um, heads-up play by the offense to immediately get to the line. Now, would it have stayed? Oh, yeah, probably. Um, because, I, again, how how late was that punch? You know what I mean? Um, 11.30 to play here in the uh, fourth quarter. 11.30 to go. Jets have the ball at the 12-yard line. They're going to run with it here on third and one. Oh, uh, play whistle dead. Could be false start, illegal formation. Jets have been hit with like five of them penalties tonight. You want Rodon? Yeah, he looks weird in Yankees gear, Shlomo. They made him shave and shit. It's like, ugh, what happened? Weird. One day I should shave. I'd scare everybody with his beard. Look how serious this shit's getting. I can't even show my neck anymore. Completely hidden at this point. And I have a big ass long neck. Oh, third and one loses yards. It'll be fourth and two, probably. Maybe fourth and one if they give him the line of scrimmage. It looks like they're not going to loss. Yeah, I'd be too powerful without a beard. You I grew a beard to contain all my um otherworldly abilities. Fourth and two coming up. They maybe should just kick the field goal here. But what do I know? That'll put you down by seven. Hmm. And the Jag Jag's been driving too well on your defense today. You should take the points. I don't agree with this. Fourth and two, turnover on downs, Jags take over, good defense at the end there. Probably should have just kicked it there. Yeah, more yeah, that's pretty oh I didn't I never unmuted that. Sorry about that. You guys should have said the game was muted. I have to mute it now because it's a commercial break. I'm gonna keep it muted. Uh ten twenty four to play in the quarter, ten twenty four left here in the game. Uh Jets need a major fast stop or turnover. Like they need to score on defense basically. What's up, Chris? How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, a touchdown here. Yeah, the game's over on a touchdown. I fucking field goal. This game's over. Think about it. Even if, um, well, I guess they'd have to score 16, so not necessarily. But yeah, a touchdown or a field goal pretty much ices this game. But then again, you know, two touchdowns and two two-point conversions it's tied. So I guess uh, not fully anyway. Uh, either way, it's a commercial break with 10.24 to go in the in the game. Oh, yeah, Bengals clinch. That's true. Is it regardless of what the Bengals do themselves on this one? I'll be perfect pick for the Yankees. That's true, Slomo. That's true. Damn, that could have been the Patriots if we had just fucking beat the Vikings and goddamn Raiders. That'd probably be the Patriots tonight, by the way. If we were 9-5 right now, have we not gotten fucked by the Vikings and the Raiders games? We'd be clinching right now. We should have won both them games. That's some horse shit. Still gonna be pissed about that fucking Vikings game. I'm less mad about the Raiders game than I am the Vikings game. We kind of deserved to lose that one with how it ended. Oof. But with the uh, Vikings game, I feel like we got cheated out of a win. But the Lions got my revenge. I'm very happy with Detroit this year. I love the Lions again. 
they got revenge for me against the Vikings, the Bears, and the motherfucking ass uh, Jets. I seen the Jets lose three times this year to my teams. It's exactly zero outside. It's 35 where I'm at, according to my computer. They're going to go with the hand. Oh, no, they go with the fake. Wide open number seven, and they're going to say catch or incomplete. Second and 10 incomplete. If your team won half the games we lost, fair enough. If my team was in your guys' division, we'd be leading it. Or at least tied for first. Yeah, I'm surprised too. Um, they would have had, I mean, the the fake, the pass fake worked really well, but. I'm going to get the first anyway. All right, first down to Kirk. Put one foot in front of the other. Soon you'll be walking out the door. Are you guys fans of the Heat Meister or do you like the Cold Meister Meister? I like that Heat Meister guy. He's a lot more funny. And he's got better music too. His, his fucking song was way better. So I'm in support of that terrorist, not the other terrorist. That cold guy scares the shit out of me. I didn't like him. Now I was like, who exactly is the bad guy here? The guy who wants to make it warm all the time? How is he a bad guy? Fuck that. <laughs> Seems like a pretty reasonable guy. Second down and one here. Ball at the 34. Lawrence is going to roll for it. Try to get his first. And he does. I miss all them claymation movies. Um, for Christmas. Those were all really cool. I like the way that those were made. I like the creativity behind them. Full grown adults just playing with clay dolls and shit to make these like very like um very oddly fucking filmed Christmas stories. Really enjoy it. First and ten at the forty. I think I just like claymation a lot. I think that's my thing. I really enjoy it. The visual effects you can get from claymation. Yeah, there we go. Got it unmuted now. Go Jags, you guess? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Second down and seven. Yeah, Chris, it's uh, pretty bad. Jaguars seem to be having their way with them. The Jets need like a huge turnover. Third and seven. One has to wonder if they're ever going to be able to find this, though. Have the division in their hands, especially with Tannehill. Yeah, yep. Oh, he's out for the season? What happened to Tannehill? I knew he was out for a game. Um, I didn't know it became a season-ending uh, injury. I did not know that. That is very bad. Ankle, ACL. Ooh. Hey, we're up at 33 likes, by the way, everybody. I appreciate that very much. You're all too kind. Hey, first down again. Jags. Third down and seven goes for a first. They're going to say it was a catch by Zay Jones. And they keep on running, 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 and running, 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 and running, running. And they keep on running, running. All I know of that song, by the way, is that opening uh, lyrics. I don't know the rest. Away from the defender, that's a tough throw, and he makes it look easy. Texans just need to learn how to lose to the Jags because, for some reason, yeah, you guys will like beat the Jaguars and end their goddamn season, just ruin it for them. Coming around the 
Yeah, I like seeing bad teams do good. It feels it's a lot better for football that bad teams are becoming good now. Shows the league is in good health. Shows that, you know, bad teams are still viable. Ugh, just got to straighten up my hair a little bit. Shit's all fucked up right now. I just messed something up. Um, nope. Okay, cool. I, like, bonked my mic. Whatever, this shit's messed up. I gotta get a haircut soon. Look at this shit. Look how long this shit Three free agents, the 60, 600 receiving club team members only. There they are, Christian Kirk. Probably got to get this cut. Zay Jones <laughs> and Ingram having a huge night. Every team with three guys each, 60 or more catches and over oh, 600 come on, yards. Oh, come on, sir. And all of them picked up in free agency. Third and six. Where we set my hair underneath this hat and shit so it's all sits nice. There we go. You wish you were in the NFL? How, how old are you, Chris? You can probably still get there if you're young enough and work hard. I mean, it's a long shot, but, you know. Yeah, Gary, you guys, yeah. Fans in Cincinnati definitely deserved what they got last year. Not the Super Bowl loss, but, like, getting to a Super Bowl. Or at least the resurgence of a team. Uh, fourth and six, Panthers will have to punt it away with just five minutes and 48 seconds to play. Jets are going to have to score in microseconds on this next drive, really quick. And the Jets downed it at the two. Oof. Oh, they're putting it at the one. Whew. It'll be first and 10 at the one yard line for the Jets. Yeah, 100%, Chris, I agree. One of the greatest. Jags, I'm going to go to the league one day. What do you got to say about that? I'm going to be the greatest middle linebacker of all time. Press Y if you agree. Press um, N if you disagree. Just to let you know, look how big my muscles are. Here's me doing that like sideways muscle thing to make them look bigger. Yeah, see, Trey knows. Trey knows um, that I secretly run um, 4240 or something like that. Disagree. Dude, I can bench like like six, 700 pounds. Bengals Eagles is definitely your early Super Bowl pick. It's not a bad one, Nicholas. Bench like four or five hundred pounds. That's that's easy. Mine was Bills Bucks, just because I picked them at the start of the season. Now I don't feel so good about that pick. Um, really with either team, but you know, it is what it is. I'm a man of uh, sticking by what I predict. So normally, I think I would be fair to remove the Bucks and pick a new NFC team, but I just don't feel like it. That way, also, if the Bucks go to the Super Bowl, I fucking told you. I never fell. I never faltered. So. Yeah. Yeah, I agreed. Don't know why more teams just didn't lose all their games that year like Cincinnati did to get him. Cincinnati was like, we're just going to lose. And we're going to get Joe Burrow. And that's exactly what they fucking did. Like, absolutely. It was Big plan. Them dudes didn't even try. They just lost the shit out of every single game. Bill scary, but since he is Chiefs Kryptonite. Yeah, you guys seem to just have Zach Taylor just seems to understand how to beat the um, Mahomes and company. We take you to Walman Rakey Central Park. Bankies. Since he, New York Banky. <laughs> Oh, you meant Bengals? 
Bills Bengals game next week is going to be the game of the year. I can't wait. Yeah. Five yard pickup there. Second down and five. Here come the Jets. Scared now, Jacks fans. Put up, put up. Mike White, um, potentially, yeah, right? I mean, he's only got like a rib injury. He was almost uh, cleared for this week, right? It's going to be a good game. Yeah, Bengals, Bills, 100%. Uh, ooh. That'll be a first down for the uh, uh, Jets on a penalty. Costly mistake. To make the defenses have to prepare and have to be aware of it. Joe Flacco is the other quarterback at the start of the season. Played sparingly since. Second down. Five minutes to go here. Second down and ten. Passing complete. But yeah, I'd, I would imagine once Mike's uh, rib injury is all good, he'll be back. He was on the Ravens practice squad. He was on Miami's practice squad. And he had five touchdown Wait, passes. Yeah, though, yeah, Zach Wilson's probably done. Eagles are probably going to the Super Bowl. More than likely, Chris. I mean, they're definitely an easy favorite pick um, with how well they played this year. Traveler throws, and that ball's knocked out of the way. It'll be second or third and ten. Just sitting on that on that outcut. The one thing that's obvious with Strebler in there is, you know, they're going to run the football and they're going to throw, you know, a quick passing game. So the corner is to anticipate. Yeah, Wilson's done though. I, I can't imagine the Jets wanting to uh, keep him around. Anticipate that ball coming out is able to jump it, and almost one more step he gets in front of that interception. Jalen Hurts. What's wrong with Jalen Hurts? Oh, he's got the shoulder injury. Yeah. Probably not too big, bag, uh, big of a deal. I also like the Niners quite a bit as well. They're one of those teams, a lot like the Bucks or the Ravens um, of the early 2000s, Bucks or Ravens, that like won a Super Bowl completely on their defenses. Yeah, because I feel like the Niners don't really need much of an offense to win a Super Bowl this year. Fourth and two for the Jets. This is the game. Completed five of nine for 53 yards. It's fourth down and two throwing. Oh, they got the, they actually got it. Oh, Garrett Wilson just lost the football though. Coughed it up and the Jaguars recovered it. They had the first down conversion. They had the game saving conversion and Wilson just had the ball knocked out. He fumbled. That's a rough end. For uh, young Wilson. Yeah, on that pack. That's pack in the air. Anyway, commercial break here. 16 to 3. Jags take over at some part of the field. I didn't see exactly. Let's sit down and finish this out. Eagles losing out. I don't know. They might want to try to win a couple games more for that uh, one seed. But what's more important, getting to the playoffs healthy or having the one seed? Uh, that first round bye is really important, too. I wish I was Stefan. Oh, Stefan Diggs? Texans upset the Titans. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised on that either. My Cowboys will win out and get the one seed. Oh, I see what your plan is. 
get the division, get the one seed. KHY just put, spreading his propaganda. He could be rusty. That's the problem. But he also strikes me as a guy that doesn't really probably get that rusty. I don't know why I think that. You know what I've often thought, uh, Jags, about the uh, double smoke emoji? Or the smoking, uh, the sig emoji? Why isn't it facing the other way? Kind of implying that they're, they're smoking it um, with the lid end in their mouth. I don't know why I've always just been like, shouldn't it be facing the other way? It'd look more right. It'd look more correct. Ooh, next Thursday, it's the Cowboys versus Titans. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, Quan. His, he's looking like a backup in the league, which is unfortunate. First and 10 at the Jets, 24. Ooh, good field position. Yeah, Hurts could win an MVP, but I think it's going to go to Mahomes personally. Cousins? Yeah, he's not the greatest. But he's not terrible, I guess. Anyway, second and eight, two-yard pickup. The Jets call timeout. They have two remaining. Cowboys wearing the Arctic white helmets. Ooh. On uh, Thursday, that'll be pretty sweet. Super sleepers, uh, Lions, Giants, Seahawks, Miami, Jags. Don't disagree. Uh, Terang? Terang? Terang, man? Golf MVP, <laughs> Chase. Oh, the Vikings are literally one of the weirdest teams. Yeah, it's it's a weird team. Winning games, though, that's really all that matters. Doesn't matter if you win pretty, win ugly. Steve Jobs, think about what? Wait, I don't get the joke. Zach Wilson's MVP, yeah. Anyway, third and five, balls at the 19 now. And they're going to go to a commercial break. Fucking bitch-ass motherfuckers. Ugh. 3.57 to go. Commercial break. Smoking emojis. He owned Apple. Oh, yeah, that's true. We could ask him for his opinion. Ha, ha, ha. Be on that Steve Jobs pack. Ha, 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 ha. When Kirk and Vikings go on third down. Nah, I'm just kidding. By the way, about Steve Jobs. His death was sad. Uh, when Kirk and the Vikings go on third, Cousins just, well, hey, I mean, you do what your the play calls for, right? Honestly, lose the final game just to get rid of the curse. Yeah, you don't want to be the one seed. You can be cursed. Only one one seed usually makes it to the Super Bowl. I don't remember the last one versus one. I don't. I don't even know if that's ever happened. Really, has it? Was it Patriots Rams? No, Chiefs were one seed that year. Hmm, I don't remember. When was the last one what one one? Anyway, that was a useless timeout. Glad they went to a commercial break for that. Yeah, there's always one seed that is cursed specifically. The Vikings coach is not smart on some plays, only on some plays. Well, yeah, Chris, he's a pretty young coach too. He's like a newer head coach, so it's understandable. What's up, Log Lognus? Welcome, welcome. The Bills got the number one seed and lose in the second round. I would freaking love it. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> that'd be really good, Nicholas. Anyway, third and five here for the Jags. A first down here pretty much uh, ices it. But Jags do have two. Uh, the Jets have one timeout and the two-minute warning to stop the clock. So we'll see how this all plays. Just keep 
Pretty sure we've seen crazier comebacks from the Jets this year. Didn't these dudes win a game down by like 14 with like a minute left? Did they say, oh. Oh, that'll probably be grounding. Fourth and five now. Trevor Lawrence uh, pass falls incomplete. He avoids the sack, though. 349 to play here in the game. 349 left. Jaguars probably run out their kick unit. Yeah, they did. That's what I thought. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just run it. Lawrence also got crunched. Jesus. Oof. Denver, Carolina. Vikings, maybe not. Who knows? And the clock was stopped too. Patterson tonight has made. If Patterson can hit this. Is pretty much just there's a lot of ice and. Who, who's overrating Trevor Lawrence? That's right down the middle. It's 19 to 3. And they're just pointing out that he's finally playing like the guy who he's supposed to be. Oh, they're going to a commercial break, aren't they? They're just trying to drag this shit out as long as possible. Jesus Christ. I, I don't. I'm watching the Dex Jags offense. I'm out. Hell yeah, his world. Hey, yeah, Jags probably won. Seems pretty obvious. Like, why do they keep going to commercial breaks? This is ridiculous. 19-3, to 3, another break. Just annoying. It's like, oh, come on. There's only fucking four minutes left in the game. You're really going to do this? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Probably not because it's the Jets. They're going to take forever to get this clock down. We probably got another two, three hours left of this game at this rate. Oh, okay. Stafford um, announced he's not retiring, so he's going to get the surgery and have his neck work done so he can play again. That's cool. Nice to see. At least he doesn't intend on retiring. Um, Do they win with Mike White? Hard to say. Mike White wasn't that good either, but they seem to play better with him. Oof. Winning percentages since 2011. Jags have a 247 since 2011. Jets have 11 season playoff drought. Ooh. Jets are bad, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's really bad. 2020 Jags went from 1 0 to 1 15. Yep. Alright, game's back on. Let me unmute it. Surprised I've been remembered to mute and unmute it with all these commercials. Sheesh. The Jets? Are they play Seattle next week? <laughs> Jets might actually beat Seattle. Seattle might not have the um, offensive abilities to beat this team. But then again, the Jets have absolutely no offense. If Mike White plays, I'll pick the Jets. But if not, I'm going to have to pick Seattle. Oh, it's in Seattle too? Jeez. Fuck. 
That's Post game, right. right? That's all we pull for. We wanted a great game, and we got one yeah. with New England and Philadelphia. Obviously. Ape is a Bills fan. Six-yard line. Streveler. Caught. Got a six-yard gain from Michael Carter. Oh, uh, Shad Khan or whatever. <laughs> or Tony Khan, whichever one it is. Just need a TD, two point, and another two point. Yep. Can they do it? 320 to play, second and four. Streveler, empty backfield. Looks, 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 looks. He looks like he's going to run it, and he does. And nope, oh, passes it. Out of bounds. Nope, he's a uh, Bills guy. First down, Jets. First and 10 to the Jets, 44. Here they come. Bum, bum, bum. And just given his, his offense bum, 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 and been out there bum, 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 the, the production. Uh, Wilson was nine of eighteen for ninety two yards and a one rush yard and a pick. Well, things are gonna what a really what a bad day. Streveler. Well. Gonna run with it. <laughs> uh, unable to get the first, second and nine. Or second and one. Mr. Salty from the wild card Bills versus Jags at an intended three with the Jags win. Yeah, Ape, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was a weird game. Don't worry, the Patriots got revenge for you. We beat them nasty Jaguars. And that'll be a first down again. Jags moving with some, or Jets moving with some efficiency here. That could be delay a game. That Jags player uh, just kind of laid on that Jets player there. Probably should have been a dog going on the uh, be on the Jets or on the uh, Jags. Flag on the play. Wonder if that'll be a false start. Oh, off of um Allen. False start by Fant. Really FC predictions, Chiefs versus uh, Chiefs 1, Bengals 2, uh, Bills 3, Jags 4, 5 Chargers, 6 Dolphins, and 7 Ravens. Okay. Oh, Peter meme? Ah. Yeah, that would be satisfying. And they didn't get much there. It'll be 2nd and 15. Oh, 14. They gave him a yard. 10 seconds to play, trying to get a playoff before the two minute warning. <laughs> Can they get it off? Nope. Well, they got it. Wow. Alright, Strabler gets a few yards. It'll be 152 to play in the game. 152 to play in the game. Yeah, Jacob, it's not the best game. Um, it'll be the two-minute warning. Two-minute warning with a minute 52 to play. Probably go to a commercial break here. Uh, Jets have it. It's like third and, I don't know, eight, third and seven. Chiefs will get the curse if my... Yeah, fair, fair enough. Yeah, Ape's a big Peter Ming guy. I'm muting it because it's a two-minute break, and usually it's a shitty fucking bunch of shit. Tell my grandma earlier this uh, wasn't going to be a good game. Yeah, you were right. It was a good pick. Good call. Not a good pick. Good call. Good call. Starting going one this week. I, learned, I, I stink. Looks like it's staying on though. I don't know what it's doing. And last Saturday delivered, right? Biggest comeback in NFL history. Unreal. And the Vikings and then the Bills and the, and the Dolphins with the entertainment. Damn, 34 likes, by the way. I appreciate that, guys. Very kind. Very cool. Appreciate y'all. 34 likes, really good. We almost hit 40, which is crazy. Uh, third and 12, and oh, he <laughs> still's got it. And he's going to run with it. And Streveler gets stopped pretty short. It's going to be like fourth and six. Yeah, it's going to YouTube, which is crazy. If you give me a choice between Mahomes or Peterman, yeah, I'm choosing Peterman too. Uh, Smot is hurt. Smoot, Smot. S M D O T, it looks like. Well, just right out of his stance, he just kind of loses his balance. So, yeah, it'd be fourth and six coming up. Uh, Smoot or Smot was hurt on the play. 
just stayed down. Doesn't look perfect. Right, right as he pushes off there, he's up now, which is a great sign. You hate, you hate when you have a big lead and you still have some guys that are your. They, oh, you already got YouTube TV. There you go. Now you have Sunday ticket coming. I'm pretty sure. Unbelievable play, having Riyad like a 51 yard rush TD. Sheesh. So smooth goods. Hopefully he's not too hurt. He's having to get helped off. That's not good. Now uh, Jags had to take a timeout right there because of the uh, clock stopping and stuff like that. So Jaguars charged a timeout with the injury. It'll be fourth and six. thought that at the beginning of the year nobody oh yeah unless the jets get a conversion and that is incomplete and that's cool. yep all right jaguars take over with a minute 35 to play and that'll be the game congratulations to the jaguars fans you guys will improve to seven and eight put some pressure on these uh, old tennessee titans to win a game or you guys will take the division Yeah, I can't believe the Jaguars have climbed all the way back to 7 and 8 now. They're staring down 500. And they get there. 7 and 8. And they get their uh, third home win. So, two home games left for the Jaguars. Jets finish out five, or 3 and 5 at home, which isn't the greatest. So, their home games are done. So, two home games or away games left for the Jets. Bum, bum. Good season for the Jaguars so far. Jet season continues to uh, slow, um, slowly slide out of control here. Fall to seven and eight, and uh, things just keep getting worse. It appears for them. Their offense cannot figure it out, but hey, it is what it is. I don't know. Does anybody have anything major to add? Yeah, the Jets collapse is hilarious, Ritzy. I agree on that. Or Ritz. XY. Ritz. Very, very funny collapse by the Jets. It was a pretty quick one. Um, under three hours. Bills will make Super Bowl. I want to see Jack Lions. Yep. That'd be pretty funny. Um, basically tomorrow we're going to do the preview stream like we usually do where we go over all the games for Saturday and Sunday and Monday. Uh, so we'll have that. That'll be a pretty easy, well, well pretty straightforward stream we'll be able to do. Um, what do I think? Let's see. Those are, the Jets season's probably over. Their defense wasn't enough and the Jaguars, hey, their offense is pretty solid. They may not have put up a bunch of points, but they did enough to hold the ball and uh, just sustain long drives and put up just enough points. Yeah, the 7-3 and three start by the Jets, man. The five games in a row lost. Yeesh. Them playing the Patriots was the beginning of the end, man. I'm telling you. Whenever the Jets play the Patriots, their season just completely quits. It goes... I think they were 6-2 and two before they played the Patriots, even. I'm telling you, them two Patriots games ruined that Jets team. We fucking ruined them. You too, Gary. Have Merry Christmas, my friend. Merry Christmas. So long as you celebrate. If not, uh, happy whatever you celebrate. Happy holidays. Because <laughs> it's a good thing to say if you don't know. Uh, we lost to that. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, losing to the Jets isn't very fun when you look back and go, God damn it, what happened? But when they had Brees Hall, it was kind of a different story. They were actually halfway decent. Yeah, it was, Jess. I didn't like the ending. I don't think that was a touchdown, nor do I like the ending, but we definitely deserve to lose with the way the game ended, if that makes sense. You win $20? Yeah, there you go, Ape. Good, good well won, 20 bucks. GG's on that game, Jess. 
Uh, sucks that my team shit the bed. I don't know what the fuck that was. But alright guys, I don't really have too much to um, pontificate here at the end about. But we can do a lot more talking tomorrow when we go over all the games and all that fun stuff. Yeah, good game, good game. I thought we were going to win that one. I was fucking pissed. Damn it. Damn shit, motherfuckers. Yep, uh, if you're somewhere where it's cold, hopefully you stay warm, stay safe. Hopefully you have all your stuff charged in case you lose your power and... You know, just do your best to stay warm, man. It's going to be cold. It's going to be snowy. It's going to be shitty out there. And look, first Air Force. Yeah, that's a bad loss to Air Force. <laughs> um, If I don't see you tomorrow, we'll probably be live on Saturday for the Patriots game. Hey, thank you for the 38 likes, too. That's really close to 40. Awesome. Really good stream tonight. Um, Again, we'll be live for the Patriots on Sunday or on Saturday. Then Sunday, we'll probably do one of the games. Do I have a... I know which games. Hold on. Let me just pull up my shit. I've already made the things. Uh, we'll be doing the Patriots at Bengals, uh, Char uh, Bucks at Cardinals, and the Ch Chargers and Colts this weekend. We got fourth on FanDuel, uh, 500 bucks. Hey, there you go. So that's a good win right before Christmas, Rants. They're a good team. Don't lose the faith. Patriots? Yeah, I like the Patriots. Well, if, to be fair, Kenny, I'm going to be kind of busy on uh, Christmas. Not even 100% sure I'll be able to stream, but, you know. Hopefully, Ape, hopefully. Be agreed. Agreed, Daniel. Congrats, though, Ryan. That's a good amount of money. Hell yeah. All right, everyone. Um, we all set, though? Any uh, other final um, tidbits or anything like that? Have a good night, Kenny. I see Lions winning and a game-winning field goal. 50 to 4, so. <laughs> That'd be a pretty crazy one, Ape. I'm going to get out of here then, everyone. I appreciate you guys coming by. It was a very fun stream tonight. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you for all the likes. Uh, thank you for st sticking around chatting. It was good times. Um, stay safe out there again. Stay warm. Stay all that other stuff. It's going to be shitty out for the next few days. So go Lions. Go Tigers. And, of course, it's always go Patriots. Fun game. Uh, again, have a good one. Stay warm. And uh, I'll see you next time, right? We'll see you tomorrow or we'll see you uh, over the weekend. Uh, all right, bye-bye. Go Lions. Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, whichever you celebrate.